And now, without further ado, I have the distinguished honor and privilege of presenting to you the Queen of Color, the Mother of Artists, globally acclaimed, award-winning Master Acrylic Artist, and the star of our show, Ginger Cook, as she once again mesmerizes her audience with the daring do's and don'ts of painting with acrylic. I'm up in the corner. Oh boy, I'm in the corner. Hi everybody. This is Ginger Cook and uh, John Little on the voice that you hear. And the two on of the us. voice that you hear. Well, there may be a face to go with that voice later. No, not we, yet. Well, here's the deal, you guys. <laughs> Welcome to our acrylic painting show. It's a it's a Sunday afternoon here in Houston. It's a late in the evening other places. We, um, my daughter, the art sherpa, was on earlier, and she and I kind of made um, you know kind of some time constraints so that um, we weren't conflicting. That was the deal. So. We apologize if we're on a little bit of later, but here's the deal. Um, uh, she's got no babysitter for the grand, my grandchildren, right? And so they've got kind of a window they can do Sunday in. So John and I said, well, you know, we're sorry some of you are staying up a little later to see us, but, you know, I understand uh, three kids is not easy, and particularly when you're trying to run your business from home. So we're cutting cinnamon and slack, you guys. That's what we're doing. How's that? So, uh, you know, we hope you like it. If we don't like this time, you know, we'll just move to another time. We'll just change days. You know, we really had liked Sunday afternoon, but that doesn't seem to be possible anymore. So we'll just do something else. That being said, um, one of the things I like to do, and it, it, you may not, if, if you're selling your art, if you can sell paintings in pairs, like, like, like not like a fruit, but like pairs, okay? It, it, they sell better, okay? People will buy a pair of something, things that go together, all right? And they'll start collecting things. So if you're, for instance, if you were going to paint any of these paintings larger, if you did them side by side larger, then they can put them in the dining room, they can put them in a couple of places. When you sell one of, it won't be as successful, okay? And also when you're painting for yourself, it's nice to have groupings of things. Like, for instance, on our website, we have a, a whole kitchen series of grouping of different paintings for you know that would be neat in a kitchen whether it's a very modern kitchen or a very you know a more traditional one so today even though I could see from the views that this was not totally popular this one I really think and I think it may not be because people feel they can't do it but this garlic and glass was really the kind of lesson you'll see on our art academy all the time I mean we really take time to do it and I uh, we had an old old video of this of this one that kind of fried and is that a good word, John? Can they fry? Video? Yeah, yeah, they fry. Yeah. And it just basically, you know, so I thought, well, I wanted to do it over anyway. And I thought, well, look, if this were 8 by 10 I've got this little Payne's Gray dark background. You could use ultramarine blue and um, uh, burnt umber, too. Would we just want a burnt back background? And the reason I picked this, okay, and, and don't panic on me here, you guys, is that people really have trouble with ovals. I don't care how good... They are as artists when it comes to ovals. They had trouble getting the oval on the glass, oval on this. Um, so I don't think I don't think you can go over this stuff enough, you know. Because look, I, when you see a painting, and you know, you you people think Pinterest is some sort of shopping list. It really is not, by the way, you guys. All that stuff probably copyrighted. But you know, you get inspired. Let's just say you pop over to Pinterest and you get totally inspired by some of the art, and you want to paint it. But if you don't have the skills to paint it, then you're just going to feel frustrated. But these skills are developed step by step, and, um, and, and that's what you have to do. There's a, just a little bit of, there's a time, time um, element involved in learning to paint for sure. But on the other hand, it's a learnable subject. It's like a language. It's like French or English or, or Chinese. It's a learnable language. And also there's a little bit of hand um, uh, eye coordination that needs to take place. A great example I can give you of this is um, my da granddaughter, Honey, when she was about, I don't know, three or four, we got her a skateboard and we, uh, I don't know, we're all so crazy. Maybe, no, it was some sort of scooter thingy. And her mom and I took her to the park. She was, uh, this was before any of the other kids were born. To, and there were some older kids on, on these scooter thingies and um, they were doing tricky things. And so she went over to what they were doing and tried to do it. And she, and yet they were, the boys were, you know, like 10 or nine, 10, something like that. And she was like four or five, I was a little. And so she got up her little scooter and then she went down the hill and she fell. And, and they were waiting for her to wail or howl or anything. And she just got herself up 
and went back up and watched them again, and she did it again. Well, honestly, her mom and I were practically cringing on the bench, holding hands, you know, going, oh, my gosh, when's this kid going to stop? Um, you know, but she was determined. She didn't want any information from us, not, nothing, no, no information from us. She was just going to do it herself. And eventually the boys helped her because they felt she wasn't crying and they felt kind of sorry for her, right? And she was willing to take instruction from them. But eventually she got it. But the thing of it is she never once said, well, after the fourth time she fell down, this is hard, I give up. And what happens as adults is you try a couple things going, ah, I can't do that, okay? And that's just um, not true. Of course you can. It just You may just have to back up a few steps and think about it. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to back up a few steps. We're going to talk about it. And I'm also going to tell you about a brand new release we've got coming out that's available for sale on everything you need to know about acrylic painting, the basics, the basics from just the simplest bit of blending that you can, you know, keep and own like your own reference library. When John and I just finished filming that. I'm not sure when that's going to be ready. Should so, be uh, first part of the week. First part of the week. Well, you know, this was exciting. We've talked about it for a year and a half. We got to do that. We got to do it. So we, we added over, um, we filmed like nine videos, everything from, you know, from, uh, you know, blending to uh, multicolor backgrounds, all this stuff. Then what we did was we um, added bonus videos in there too. So I think, I don't know what the total is now, but it's, it's close complete, to 20. Close to 20 videos that what we have in there that you can own and then are all. Uh, you know, you're back to basic, basic stuff that, you know, before you try to do real complicated stuff, you know, know how to do that. Um, here's, a, for instance, an example of uh, what I would consider a little bit more complicated lesson. This is sort of in the style of Thomas Kincaid. Well, if you, when you go back and you learn the basics, then this won't seem so uh, daunting, okay? And this is one of our tutorials on gingercooklive.gallery um, website, okay? So let's get, I, I'm just stalling you. People say, well, is she ever going to get along to painting this? Come on. Well, the thing with this is that we're doing this live, and you'll see comments on the side. It takes a while for people to catch up with us, okay? And so we want to thank any of our moderators. Who's, who came today, John? Who came today? We have Tanya. Hi, Tanya. Mona. Who? Who? Mona. Hello, Mona. Hi, Mona's in Sweden, you guys. Say hi to Mona. Hi, Mona. Elizabeth. Hi, Liz. I, I was going to call Judy. you this morning. Judy's went swings flying by a little bit hi, ago. Hi, Judy. Hi, Judy. And I think that's it. Well, we appreciate you guys being here. The moderators are the ones that uh, kind of keep the trolls off the off, so we have a fun time. And remember that these chat things stay up, so your and your name's next to it. So kind of careful what you say, right? Okay, because it's up there for posterity. Where this is sort of a thing the last few months YouTube's done. Before the chat was never there. I think it's fair to warn people. And gosh, have you ever had that? I've had this experience. I know. When speaker phones first came out, and you could put someone on speaker, I know this was a long time ago, but this was new technology at one point when I was still alive, okay? <laughs> and I It was never, like color TV and microwaves. That's right. That was all new technology to me, right, at some point in my life. And so my brother Jay uh, was asking me about this, lady, this friend of mine. And I said, do you, do you remember so-and-so? And she and I had been both camp counselors. And I said, oh, yeah, I remember her. He says, well, what do you know about her? And I started to describe her. And I said some very unflattering things. I was describing her, and my was very accurate as an artist. Um, you know, I don't think probably I should have mentioned she had a face like a horse. Probably should have mentioned that. <laughs> Unbeknownst to me, she's listening on the phone next to him, and he never told me. Isn't that nice? Oh, my God. I could have, of course, we never spoke again. Probably wouldn't have spoken again anyway. But, you know, I'm just saying that I think it's fair warning to tell people that your chat's staying up, okay? Yeah, mm. it is. Don't put things up there that you don't want your mother to read. Yeah. Oh, oh you know what? That's so funny. When, when I was getting divorced from Cinnamon's dad, okay, and I sent her up to my relatives in Seattle, okay, and she was this kind of, I'm sorry, at 16, she was a real smart, <laughs> you know She what? was a typical teenager. She was a typical teenager, right? And why gosh, you know? Um, and she dressed very strange, and I thought she was going to ask for a shopping cart for Christmas, that kind of thing, you know. And <laughs> just going, um, you know, one more step, and people are going to think you live on the street over a heater gate, heater grate. You know, I mean, could you, could you put, you know, could you put some clothes together that look nice? I can take you to the store. I mean, we had a thing going for a while. So anyway, to, just to keep her out of the messy part of the divorce, I sent her up to my sisters, okay, which was another story altogether. Oh my gosh! But anyway, and I remember telling her, I said, whatever you hear 
If you didn't hear it on Leave it to Beaver or, or, or Donna Reed or one of those shows, it better not come out of your mouth. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, but they better not hear it up there. And, and I remember she called me up and she says, I hate it up here. I said, do you? Why is that? She says, they're all hicks. I said, really? She said, yes. She says, they don't even have, the mall isn't even open on Sunday. Can you believe it? <laughs> just, wow, you know, that's so teenager, isn't it? That's so funny. <laughs> How she's got a 13 of your old payback is great. <laughs> Sorry. I'm having way too much fun with that. Well, anyway, um, she made it through the summer at my relatives. She went around. I have, I had at that time, uh, three brothers and a, a, a still living and my sister. So, and my par my adopted parents. So she made it around the, the rounds between all of them for the summer. And then we brought her back home and then the divorce was over. So, so just wanted to keep her out of the fray. And things, things were lucky. They didn't get messy, but you never know. Right. That's true. So, so hey, we'd like to thank a Denise for the donation, just to say hi and sending art hugs and love to you both. X O X O. Oh, art hugs back! Thank and we you love so the much. XOXOs. We love XOXO. People say you're soft, but in my ears, you are as loud as can be. I'm talking pretty loud, folks. I don't. I know. is talking pretty loud. And yeah, we are experiencing buffering. I don't know what to tell you. So it's gonna get used to disappointment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the name of the game today. Uh, did you ever see The Princess Bride? That's, that was that movie. You have to yeah. read the book if you've never read it. The Princess oh, Bride. Great. And the movie was great. And that was one of the famous lines in that movie. Was this, this a, I, I can't remember the circumstances, but the famous line was, yeah, I know, get used to disappointment. Get yeah, used to disappointment. That's what it's going to be today with YouTube. All right. So let's just, I want to make this kind of going up. We're gonna. We want this to go, you know, kind of in the same color. So I'm gonna make the background a little warmer than I did on this one. I did this some years ago. So I've got this like little eight by ten ago. canvas, okay. And I would say if I were going to just um, do a ha hazard guess, this was six by eight. I thought for the sake of um, some of you who are watching on phones, I might do this bigger, right? <laughs> so. Um, okay, really, that doesn't make a difference. That's not the excuse to use. <laughs> no, <laughs> <Sorry>. why not? <laughs> That oh. won't fly. Well, it sounds I just good. zoom in tighter if it's a smaller canvas. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Same size oh. on the phone there, lady. <laughs> <laughs> really? Well, gosh, technology is a great thing, isn't it? <laughs> As uh, another, another reason to be disappointed today. Yeah. All right. So if I did three inches here, which is half of six, everybody can see that, right? So you can see that um, um, I'm just going to do this and scare you all, but here. I'm just going to grid this because I can the chalk will wop, wash off, right? So if I that's half, and so you can see that my oval is on the bottom half with just a little tiny bit above this plate. Do you see that how it's over here? So you can okay, everybody can kind of see that, right? This is what you got to do when you lay anything out. Just sort of figure out where it goes. That's the secret. Where does it go? Um, so listen. So this was uh, we said this was eight inches. I remember that correctly. So let's put a little mark there. Um, here's a T-square. I love those things. Because then you get a straight line. If you guys don't own a T-square. Go um, buy one. Oh, guess what I got? A T-square. No, something even better. Better than a T-square? Better. And, Unbelievable. Uh, where's my letter? Oh, yeah. This, this wait, came... wait, 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 wait. Disclaimer no? first. Notice a lovely gray, clean background. Look at our background. Look at our table. Are you guys impressed? Here, let me zoom out a little bit. Yeah, look at our table and our background. Isn't Maybe that gorgeous? That. Another disappointment day. Look at this. See? So, this was a surprise in the mail from us. A gal by the name of Joe Parker wrote, Ginger, I'm sending you this craft mat I bought, and I hope you find it useful. I have one and love it. Everything wipes off of it with a damp paper towel, and she's not kidding. Um, including paint stick, and really. ink. Uh, this is the most amazing thing. I thought you could use it to put under your canvas while you're doing your online show so you don't have to have stick a piece of paper under your canvas to keep from messing up your table. It really helps to keep your workspace clean. This is really a sock boulder's delight, you guys. This stuff is amazing. I enjoy it. Yes, very much. Thank you. We ordered a small one to go on our travels, you know, because yeah. I'm always panicked when I'm painting somewhere else on someone else's fancy table. They look at me like I'm going to ruin something, and even though I can kind of wipe it up, best kind to, of. 
Yeah. Sometimes we there's a few ships that have. I mean, some. if it wasn't for my tub of towels, I'd be in real trouble, right? <laughs> um, you know, with some of that stuff. And again, people always panic when you get off the paints. So this is great. Anyway, I love your teaching videos. I've learned so much from you. You've given me the confidence to paint again. I dabbled in it many years ago when my son was young, but got too busy to really give it a good shot. And and this is, happens when you're when you're a mom of young kids. You know, you're just you're lucky to get the laundry done. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We understand that because that now that I'm older and my son's all grown, I'm going um, to give painting another try. Thank you. I really don't think I can do it this time. I can't afford your academy, but maybe in the future, who knows? That's why your free YouTube videos are so important for people like me who can't quite afford to join the academy yet. I really thank you for taking the time out of your day and weeks to spend time making these videos. Seriously, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Enjoy your mat. I hope you like it. Um, Joe we Parker, love we love it. We love it. In fact, uh, in fact, we have a link on our on our. Um, um, where do we have well, the link? Girls, I gave you a link to it. We have, they're available on Amazon. It's a Ken Oliver. We have our affiliate link. The uh, admins should have it and be able to pop it up there shortly. I'm hoping. Yeah, and you know, I'm telling you what. If you've got grandkids and you're doing scrapbooking, this was originally for scrapbooking. It's heating up dates, 450 degrees or something like that. Yeah, 450. It's Hot great. glue guns don't stick to it. I mean, this is the grandmother's delight. If you've got kids coming over, uh, or and, the sock and making, folders delight. The sock folders delight, really. And and for me, this was uh, we've been painting on it all weekend. I can promise you that it is fabulous. All right, so everybody saw what we just did here. We just did. Um, you just See, did a, you, you I put did it a little out, grid here, right? Yeah. Well, we were telling you about my mat. And I just, I, I'm telling you what, I'm really excited about that. I can't say enough nice things. Um, I, um, technology changes all the time. And thank you for someone for thinking of us. That doesn't look like half to me. Somehow that doesn't. This is eight, so that should say four. Yeah, it does. Okay. Close to four. Close to four. Close enough. Have you ever heard that expression? Close, close enough for government work? Yeah. What does that mean exactly? I mean, I think that's so derogatory. It kind of is. Well, this canvas is... You, you're really using that in an unusual way today. Am I? <laughs> Usually you're on top, but, you know, who am I to judge you today? I don't know. Would that change? You know, what would be different today than other days? Absolutely. I mean, you look at the, me and you just raise your eyebrows and go, what you doing? <laughs> you know, um, you know, you get into these habits and you just do stuff. I can remember one time, this is 10, so I'd want five here. Oh, we're right on it now, you guys. We've got the high math going, right? Sorry. Um, well, a lot of people get panicked when you get out a ruler. Then they just, ah, screw it, she's doing a ruler, right? Well, then some people panic when you have eh, three fingers and two fingers and they go, well, well how big is a finger? Well, it's true. A guy has a big, usually bigger fingers than a little kid. So, you know, this is like so, a truism here. Yeah. All right. So you see what we've got here. Okay. We've got a new grid. So we got a new grid. And that's pretty simple, right? So if I came up here, this is, this is grid number one, two, three, three. four. It was like four square. Remember four, four square? square? Oh, yeah. No, I, I don't remember square. that. Okay. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to cut off this corner right here. Do you see that? Right about like that, kind of cut off this corner and right along here like this. I'm going to bring this on. So basically, I'm making this corner. And I can make some adjustments, but um, and this is coming this way. So here's my here's my oval plate on this side. That's not that tricky. And then this is going to come around. There's a little space here coming around like this. Remember, an oval is a circle that would fit in a business size envelope. Okay, and it's 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 not it's um think think of. Yeah. Mm. What was that? Wait a minute. What are we doing there? I'm making O oh, with my mouse. See? No, uh, that didn't translate. Okay. Oh, you just you have little faith here. Everybody gets it. You have to have you have to have visual references. Everybody says so. Do some. All right. So then I've got a nice lip on this. This was actually some old dead artist, and I can't remember who. Or I'd tell you. I did this years ago. I'm gonna look back and I'm gonna. I, I, you know, when you're doing an inside lip, just try to keep it all, you know, it's a little thinner back here, but you want to keep this the same. You can do a few little dots like this and then follow the dots if you're not sure. Follow the dots. And then we're going to come here. It's not quite centered. See, it's a little off center. This is kind of curving up like this, and this curves round at the bottom, curves up like this, kind of not quite straight. In other words, you'd think it would be straight, but this mug is not quite straight. 
Here's the very top of it. Here's my oval at the top. Okay. And uh, that seals a little high. What did we do here? Yeah, it is too high. It's very high. We don't know what happened. We lost our we lost our grid here somewhere. You, uh, you, you went into a. Um, we went into a, a tall funky. Mug. Well, we're, we're we're redoing it. This is why we do chalk. Everybody says, "Why do you do chalk?" Because you can just change it. We didn't get it wide enough. That's what happened. Does this mean we'll not have a traceable? This means we'll not have a traceable, friends. You can. <laughs> this is why you want to. You know, the drawing skills. You're going to come up like oh, this. Oh my! This is the no traceable. No. I know. We just made lots. Everybody just hung up on us now. They all <laughs> left and went to another channel. Who's doing a traceable? I wonder what so and so's doing today because Ginger's painting just sucks. Let's not do it. She's hers. making us draw. She's a, another I, I disappointment for the day. Got, gosh, it was just, you know, gas prices went up and Ginger didn't have a traceable. <laughs> what the kind of a deal is this, right? Okay, here we go. We're just going to. Oh, life is tough, right, Sammy? Yeah, right. Yeah, I was telling I was telling John, I remember years ago when gas was forty nine cents a gallon, right? And Cinnamon's dad and I were in Aspen and we'd driven to Glenwood <laughs> Springs and we went to get gas at this gas station. It was forty nine it'd gone up to forty nine cents a gallon. And her dad just threw a fit at this poor little gas station attendant, right? Okay. He's getting paid a quarter an hour. And, or you something. know, and he goes, <laughs> I'll walk before I'll pay forty nine cents a gallon and just rants and raves and then then we go to the station down the street, and he pays it, right? But he felt someone should know, and I'm going, well, you're telling the wrong person, babe. But um, <laughs> Not doing any good to tell him. Yeah, but he f felt the need to. And I, I remember one time we were in a restaurant in Lake Havasu City, Arizona, and, uh, and, and the London Bridge, actually. So, you know, they moved the London Bridge over there. So this guy was so rich, he actually bought the London Bridge, took it apart stone by stone, and had it built in Lake Havasu City, Arizona, where hardly anybody will ever see it. Because, I mean, who really goes there, honestly? <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's not like it's the destination point, is it? So, um, but um, he was selling lots in the desert, and he had to do something, because it was, um, you know, a desert, okay? And uh, anyway, so we were having... Uh, Cinnamon's grandmother had moved there, had gotten flown in by a plane on some sort of sucker thing from Wyoming and ended up buying a lot, she ne which she never built on because she didn't have the money to build on it, and ended up renting an apartment there in the winter, and then she'd spend the summers in Colorado. So anyway, she took us to lunch at the at this uh, London Bridge uh, restaurant, which was kind of cool. That part was cool, right? And um, I remember her, um, Colby, saying... I don't know what you think you could possibly do to a hamburger to make it worth three dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> <laughs> he was always so funny. I mean, he was funny. He, he, I don't think he understood how funny he was. One of my favorite things he did, because I'm on a roll here today, right? Favorite things he did was um, we were standing. This is Glenwood Springs again, which is a little town about three hours out. Well, in those days it was three hours outside of Aspen. It's probably ten minutes now, but in those days. <laughs> It was like three hours out of Aspen. And we'd gone to Strawberry Days. You know how every town has these stupid festivals and they put up the banners and the high schools that bands playing and you know it's one of those hokey things, right? They're not hokey. They're hokey, baby. Okay. They're hokey. It's so, small town something. hokey things, right? Okay. They're hokey. Like the ho they even have a song about it. Have you done the hokey pokey? Okay, I get it. <laughs> Go ahead, finish the hokey song. So um you guys know what I'm talking about too, don't you? So anyway, so we're standing in line waiting to get our strawberry pancakes that some gals are all from the church, local church or school mother's club or something are, are making. Okay, here, look at that. That's pretty good. I'm not real happy with this right here, but, you know, that's just what acrylic paint's all about. We can kind of fix that. Anyway, so this little boy is just messing around, stepping on his feet, and uh, really being obnoxious. And um, he looks down at him. He says, young man, if you don't stop that, I'm going to kick your mother. <laughs> <laughs> and she grabbed that kid. <coughs> I'm not as fast as she could. <coughs> Sorry. Oh well, she did. Because I mean, that was not good. But anyway, that that's the kind of stuff he used to do. How are we doing? Pretty good, right? Yeah, you've got a kind of? a saucer and a cup. Yeah, and it's an oval, right? Now I could, you know, one thing you can do is you turn it upside down. Turn this upside down. Right? Let's move this out of the way, right? Just turn it upside down and just double check your work. You know, like a, you know, that doesn't hurt, does it? Just double check it and see how you did. See, it's just kind of, you know, how did I do here? It's kind of did okay here. But I have a flower right here, so no, I don't care about all that. Kinds of stuff. 
you know, but I mean, all things considered, I think that works for me, you know, I think it does. All right, so let's put some paint out while we're chatting. This is fun. Is okay, that everybody having a, we're going to do a giveaway today too. For those of you who, uh, you know, want to, only for the live people, if you're watching only this. Only for the live people. No zombies again. Come on, people. <laughs> we had some zombies in the last one, and I had to delete you. No zombies. <laughs> yeah. Only live. That was so weird. We went out to dinner last night with Cinnamon and uh, my grandson, and um, she was telling us about some zombie movie, and she goes, do you like zombies? And I'm going, no. John goes, I like zombies. I'm going, really? You like zombie movies? <coughs> yeah, I like zombie movies. Gosh, I just like... Like, that's really just not on my list. Um, but it's okay. It's all right, everybody. You know, it's okay. Yeah, each to their own. That's right. So I'm putting a little burnt umber. I love this little mat here. Um, you put the burnt umber under the phthalo blue label? I put it under the burnt sienna label, which is um, which is crazy. Oh, you, did a, oh, you got them kind of... <coughs> I crowded everything today. Yes, you did. <coughs> wow. Well, I should drink some water or something. I'm just, I really don't have this cough. Oh, sounds so, like so, I'm dying. Wait, 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 wait. Hold your horses. Mm. They went scrolling by. Um, Staline, I think. Yeah. Did you see the video posted, John and Ginger? You do back to back. You do back to back cruises instead of going to a nursing home. It's cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> You're absolutely like right. Do we look like a nursing home? Do we look like we need a nursing home? You know, I, I guess it's true. You know, here's the thing, though. When you get to a certain age, they t they penalize. Did you know that? Yeah, they do. No more horseback riding no or ATV. No more horseback riding or ATV riding for me. No, nope. You hit that's, 70 and... That's it, you know? And which, I don't understand how they can and, do and, that. And, and no more, you know, they've got these things, you know, every once in a while, you, you know, you see something where, you know, if you... If you take out a loan, if you die, they'll pay it off. <laughs> Cut off dates no, going on that too, right? They're just not betting on you living any longer, which is discouraging, really, when you think about it. Um, 70 yeah. seems to be the magic number where they feel you're just going to go to hell in a handbasket. That's what they think, right? Well, what's the life expectancy now? I don't know. I don't know. But, um, but I'll tell you what. The underwriters are all 20, you know what I mean? And somebody <laughs> 70 just has got to seem ancient, right? And apparently their uh, mothers and fathers are, I don't know. Well, you know, stuff happens, right? And, you know, we're not blaming it, just everybody. Oh, for those of you that are trying to go on the birthday cruise, because Lynn just brought it up, she got an out-of-office message, yeah. Um, Chloe heard Cl her back. Chloe heard her back, and she's out right now, and she and I are working on how to take care of you folks, so... Just the give us a use, use a contact us so we can, you know, give her the information to contact you. How's that? Yeah, we'll we'll post it in the Facebook group for sure once 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 she knows what she can do. But don't panic. Don't panic. It's all good. It's all good. It's we're January gonna have a good time. 27th. Yeah, out we're of gonna Galveston. have a good time out of Galveston, seven day cruise, and we're gonna have the reason you want to book it through Chloe is because Chloe's gonna see to it that we all sit at the same table for dinner. And have fun, you know. I mean, otherwise, you know. She's going to coordinate it. She's going to coordinate, which is what you want to do, right? So you want to be the, you know, if you want to come, we're not charging you extra to be with, you know, to come. We're just saying this is what we're doing, and uh, if you want to do it, you're welcome to do it. And we tried to pick a cruise far enough in advance where not only you could play plan it, but um, you know, you can put a deposit down, and make little payments on it till then, or, um, you know, we tried we you tried to time. find one that was inexpensive too, that you know, relatively inexpensive. You know, we really search for that. The farther out you are, they are. So we're putting out cat. You know, everybody says, "What? Why don't you post the colors on the um on your whatever we do here on the <laughs> YouTube thingy?" Well, well, one, we didn't know what we were painting until five minutes before yeah, the show. Yeah, I, I made this as sort of a last minute decision. I, I just we got really busy yesterday. I didn't have time to come up with anything. Oh, guess what? 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 Yes, what? this is a what? Guess who's coming tomorrow? Who's coming tomorrow? Daniel who? Elliott. No. Yes, Daniel Get out Elliott. Of here. Remember our, our Daniel Elliott who did the Wonderful Clouds and he's been on our show twice. And uh, he used to be the manager as a well, he was the manager of Jerry's Autorama last week as a you know, a few <laughs> days ago. He no longer is the manager of Jerry's Autorama. But that's but a whole other story. So that's how he can tell you about that. But anyway, um, yeah, so um uh anyway, Daniel's coming tomorrow. I said, well, our fans all want to hear from you, Daniel. You're a cutie and a popular artist, and they'd love to see you. So I don't know what Daniel's going to paint tomorrow, but he's going to show us something. How's that? Something's good, yes? Yes well, yes? That's the plan right now. Hopefully nothing's changed. You know, you know so assuming he still remembers of this conversation, 
You and might want to um, probably check base with him after the show tonight. I should. I probably. should uh, text him and say, by the way, you, you promised to come see us tomorrow. All right, so I've got these two up here because I want this background, right? Everybody's good with that? Wait so, a minute. Let me go up to the background so I can see. Yeah, well, I want this. I want this background. Okay, not you're going to be using the garlic background. Yeah, for this because we want to kind of coordinate them, right? Right. Okay. But this is interesting because this is a pewter plate. It, this is an interesting one on how to paint this stuff. Let's take. This is a little Bristol on a uh, number eight round brush. Um, incidentally, people have asked me what is the where's the best place to buy brushes. Um, you know, we I get most once. Okay, never buy a brush online unless I've recommended it to you or you've seen it in person, somehow. You know, um, because a lot of times you you, can't, you have to be able to feel them. But when we recommend a brush, it's ones we use. Um, that's just my personal opinion. You know, it's just um, it's like trying to buy a lipstick without seeing it. You know, it just could be anything. Um, however, that being said. A lot of times the big art stores like Jerry's and Dick Blick and stuff, the online stores will have a sale. The people that we try to uh, buy br our brushes from, John and I buy our brushes from them too, are the brushguys.com because they give you guys like and us too a 5% uh, discount if you use my name. <coughs> and any brush on their site, even my daughter's, our chirpers, any of hers, anybody, it doesn't matter who's there. Anything are, you purchase. Anything you purchase there, a 5% discount. And you've got to use my name, Ginger Cook, all one word. And that is the brushguys.com. And uh, they, Sylvia, uh, Feder, or somebody or other, Sylvia from Australia. <laughs> Sylvia from Down Under. Down Under, you know, sent us uh, the, uh, how much a, a, a brush was from, say, one of these ruby satin silver angle brushes from um, uh, Australia. And I mean, it's like $20 more a brush, something like that. It's incredible than even with the shipping, but they, you know, because they ship all over the world. That's the other reason we mention them. All right, so I'm going to dip, you know, roll my brush in a slightly damp. If you want more information on the cruise, use the contact us form on gingercooklive.gallery. All right, here's and put a in little... your subject. Cruise info, please. All right, here's a little bit of brown. Here's a little bit of yellow oxide. Oh, good. We're, here's a we're little out bit of now. Here's a little bit of burnt umber. Um, Got to kind of... There is a video on... Um, uh, YouTube on how to do this kind of background in case you were wondering but you have to do it on top of something that's already dry you're gonna start noticing that when she's going over and getting paint it's not matching the other everything's getting out of sync now we're sorry can't help it that's what it is <laughs> uh, we do the best we can and then after that it's uh, YouTube cinnamon was asking me last night she said if we you know if we if, if we were seeing glitches and you know uh, Everybody's seeing a few little glitches, but you've got to understand they do not charge us anything on YouTube to broadcast these. This is a free service to you and me. So, you know, it's amazing how much we complain. You know, it's like we want perfection and, you know, I don't know why we think we ought to have it. Okay. So a little bit of burnt umber under here. Just kind of make that a little darker. See, now I've kind of raced under my lines. Okay. Yeah, but you know what you're doing. So here's a little bit of yellow oxide. It's got a little green and a little bit of burnt umber, and I'm just going to come in here like that. It looks a little green to me, but that's okay. Yeah, I, I, just need a, it, I, I just need something on this cup that I can go up up or down from. doesn't really, to me, I don't even care. I just need something on here that's slightly lighter so I know where I'm going, okay? Judy says, if you want to go without the buffering, go back three minutes. So it would just be three minutes behind us. Oh, Judy, that's a great idea. And so Thank when you, you ask questions on something three minutes ago, we will have no idea what you're talking about. Well, yeah. Because that was three minutes ago to us. All right. So, yeah, so we don't know. But, um, you know, all right. So this is what we've got so far. And I'm going to put that brush away. Put this one out of the way. I don't know why that's even here. Let's get out a angle brush, okay? Now we're going to go into a... Did, oh, I didn't is put that the purple your out. Is that your three-eighths inch boss? Three, uh, that's a one-half inch. Ooh, going big today. A half inch angle brush here. I got a little purple out now. And I'm going to take a little purple and ultramarine blue and come up here on this. Um, let's take a little bit of yellow with that. A little yellow oxide with that. Just come up here like this. Come this way around our plate. Okay. And I want a little bit of white. I think I want a little bit of white in there. It's kind of a you know what the color I'm missing is magenta. I can see where I need that. You got so, two of them. You got the one that's transparent and the other one that's not. That one's not. 
Okay, I'll just take a little magenta. I, I was going to do cad red medium, but I think I'm going to do a little magenta. I may still go back to that. I want a little of that color here. Here we go. I want a little bit of that color. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, a that's little bit pretty. of that color and a um, little bit of magenta with my purple here like this, right next to this, and come around here like that. So this is sort of a fun thing to do. Um, we had a we had a good time in Alaska. I got to tell you that you know people have asked us. We're, we still don't have pictures yet for you here. Let's just make this lighter <laughs> as long as we're here. But we I here. haven't seen them all yet. We have not had time to look at the. I have not had time to look at the pictures. Can't show them to you before I see them. Sorry. Okay. Gonna make that lighter right there. See that's the inside lip. In case you were wondering, in case you needed a translation. Okay. And uh, here's my. Here's my outside lip of this. I'm just going to kind of, I love angle brushes because you can, um, here we go. All right, so a little bit of purple, a little bit of burnt sienna. Let's try that. All right. Let's come around this way. Yeah, so if you try to do a real thin line, sometimes you can make a fat line and then just barely have it in there, okay? Now let's do a little bit of white. Okay, same colors. I want to come up here on the inside of this and um, kind of we're just kind of blocking it in, okay? Sound good? Sounds and good this, to me. And then uh, let's see, I think I've got to damp wet my brush. Here's what happens when you paint over chalk. The unfortunate thing that happens is that you start picking it up like sand and then um, uh, it's a uh, really hard to get your brush to do anything so we're going to come in here like this and I'm just going to start here like that and there we go all right and I want to make sure I've got this this edge here pretty good you don't like the sound effects I like them with you good sound effects <clears throat> just if you're not sure about something, hold your picture up to a mirror. You'll see immediately if it's slightly off, okay? So, so far, so good. All right, yellow oxide, a little bit of burnt sienna. And, and I've got this sort of brown color now. Here we go. A little more burnt sienna. And I think I want a little purple with that. There we go. There's my darker side of the cup. You know, when you want something to look round, one side has to be kind of darker. You know, here's a little more purple. I like to mix right on the canvas like that. I'm just kind of mixing right on. I'm going to make this curve. Now, we've got to go get a little bit lighter, so I'm going to add some white to that, and this side's going to be light. This is the light, lightest side. And... Uh, See, we didn't have to dry anything with the hair dryer or anything. We're just sort of making little circles here like that and trying to get this um, cup lighter. Now, this is the trick with something like this is it's all about layers. Do you have that picture of that lock, the one I just finished? Uh, I sure this, do, boss. Look at, we've got a fabulous lesson for our Academy members uh, this week, this lock, and it's the same idea. It's just a lot of layers, okay? So <clears throat> let me just show you this real quick. That's the, that's the newest one I did, right? Here's this lock. Now you see, uh, look at the, how three-dimensional that looks. That's just all flat paint. And, and this is the kind of thing that you should be, you know, I'm I really happy to teach you how to do that, right? And, but you notice this lock. It's, look at the cup. Do you see, 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 see the cup? Mm -hmm. And the lock, not that different, right? Yes and yes. It's all mm -hmm. the same. So sometimes it's just, you know, what you do is you start, it's like when you first, um, you know, learn to, to read, you know, um, and then you start reading novels, and then pretty soon you, you, you start seeing that there's certain, certain phrases that go together, you know what I mean? And just certain way people put words, and, and that's the syntax of, of, of words. And, and, but you don't really find that out in the beginning, but eventually it becomes second nature. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so here's the top of this like that here's my oval top of this like that yeah i've picked up chalk so i've got to rinse the brush now one of the things that people forget when they're doing when they're doing something like this is they forget that if there's a shadow 
on this side here, there's a shadow on the lip also of the cup, not just, not just, um, not just on the, um, on the, 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 the right side, but we're, okay, so we've got a little dark shadow under here, right? Now we're going to darken this up just a little bit more, okay, like this, okay, so far so good. We still don't have it light enough, but we're getting there, and that's, this is a sad thing about acrylics, is that because they dry darker, you think you're just doing splendid, and then you look and you're going, well, what happened? I just, it's almost like, um, I know I did it, what, where did it go, okay? So here's what, here's the inside. I'm making the inside shape on this, and now I have to make the outside shape. And I can see from this that if this is a, you know, I'm just kind of looking at this, going if this is my inside shape, then this has to be a little higher. Do you see what I mean? Because I can see I've got a lip here that's got to be put in. It's got to be a little higher. Okay. Make like adjustments that. on the fly. Yeah. So yeah, you can and. and um, years ago, I had this big art show in La Jolla. They brought out about from California. Cinnamon, and I, Cinnamon went with me as um, my moral support. We went out there to California for this show I had, and there was this one gallery. And they, um, I don't know. They said, "Do you have any sketches?" Because we have a lot of wall space. I think I sent out like twenty-five or thirty paintings, and and, and you know, mostly I don't. I don't have like any pencil sketches because you'll see me. I'm constantly adjusting stuff as I paint with acrylics. Don't really bother with sketches. I mean, you should, but I, I mean, I don't. <laughs> I mean, d yes, you should. Why bother doing it now after 40 years, right? But, but you should. You absolutely should have those things and work out your lights and darks and all that stuff. Now, look, see, I'm going lighter again. See on my cup, see that? This is all just, okay, we're just, it's the next layer of light. And the more you paint, the more layers, the easier it gets. Now, the other thing we got to talk about, you guys, I'm telling you, we got to talk about this, is, what was it? Ha! Huh. <laughs> it's coming to me. What was it? There was something we had to talk about. Oh, we it did. It was really important. It was important. But then I got to thinking someone may have a question, and perhaps I should wait for the question. No, we don't have a question. So okay. What's because so important you want to tell us? We're all sitting on the edge of our seats now. It was it's really... It's like E.F. Hutton. It was really important. Ginger's going to say, so we're all stopped. Everybody's paused. We even paused the video. It's paused at the moment. Oh, my gosh. What was it? It was so important, and you're just going to be so sorry I didn't tell you. I'll come, it'll, it'll come to me in a second now, okay? I'm having, what do they call that? A senior moment? I love it, right? Well, if you were a senior, you could get away with that. That's true. But, you know, that's true. So, anyway, um, I've been using that for like 50 years, that senior moment thing. You know, it's probably... Probably it's getting a little old. Um, I want this a little lighter here on this part of the lip. Oh, yeah, here it is. I've, it's coming to me now. Here's the deal. Some of you guys, in order to save money, I get everybody, gosh, nobody's more about saving money than me, um, have been buying paper to paint on. You know, So I'll just do this on paper, and it says acrylic paper. News bulletin, it's not meant for this type of acrylic painting. But for watercolor type painting, it means the paper isn't going to bubble, buckle, but you're not going to get the blending. And then you think it's you. That's really important. So if it doesn't say oil and acrylic on the paper, on the tablet, and then really it's not designed for this type of artwork. We've got a, um, a, a couple videos where we do use paper and gouache acrylics, but we paint them more in a loose style. We're not trying to paint them in this style. Incidentally, uh, where's my little... If you don't have one of these little water misters, you'd think I was running a a, a, a bazaar or something, you know, like the medicine guy. You remember those medicine man? This is great. The trail. But I, I, it, it does. Somebody just wrote the other day and said that they're really good. They used to be ninety eight cents. They've gone up to two bucks. You know, but I'm sorry. Okay, still it was ninety eight cents. What five years ago? Ten years ago? Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah, but I think two bucks is a big jump. I'm sorry. Part of me is just not. But it's made not, out not of petroleum that. products. Oh, is that what it is? It's plastic. Well, it probably came from China, too, and we're, we're fooling yeah, around with stuff over there, too, right? So, anyway. Uh, well, you're whatever. blending so easily. What is the trick? Missy would like to know that, and somebody else has something very similar to that question. How thick is your paint when you are adding your layers? Not that thick. Watch my picture. Watch. It's not that thick. Not that thick, see? Not that thick. Just a little bit on one side of the brush. Okay? Not that thick. Just a little dark right here. Wet on wet. See, not that thick. I'm going to wipe the brush off and just smudge the edges around. 
Smudge them. Smudging is just like yeah, smudging. Smudge them. A, we're doing a little pur purple and thing here. See? Not that thick. But you probably use more post people. Well, yeah, I do. But some people use globs, and you're not working with globs. You're sure not no working glob. with globs. No globbies. You no know? globbies. And I want to bring this down a little bit hot lower on here, just a hair lower on the bottom of this. Why uh, is the video off now? I give up. Why is it off? I have no idea, but is your palette is different than your live action. Perfect. That's is always there a way fun. to make some realistic steam kind of out of that cup of coffee? Yeah, sure. Of course there is. Of course there is. We have but a, we're not going to tell you how to do it. Another disappointment. <laughs> yeah, there is. And if you were an Academy member, you'd just know, right? When, just sorry. Sorry, that's just me. I'm trying. Just, yes, there is. Okay, so we're gonna, we want a little bit more of a purple ledge to this, too, right over here. This is more of our corner shadow thingy here, right like that. Okay, and this is a little darker here. I haven't put the handles on yet, but, but we know that they go, right? So then on this side, here's just a little bit of purple and burnt sienna. And we're going to say that there's our, this is our second layer of fabric. Or, um, fabric? A fa second layer of paint. Now I want a little magenta and purple over here on, um, on a little bit of burnt sienna. There. Now that's too much paint, so I'm going to wipe that off. It's starting to look metal, though, isn't it? It's it does. Starting to look metal. Kind of cool, right? Haven't done the flower, but we'll just come in this way and I'll show you how to do the flower when this all dries. Okay, so now the trick is I'm going to wipe the brush off like that, get a little bit of burnt sienna. I think I'm going to have to break down and put um, Tad Red Medium out. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. We need a little of that. So a little bit of purple and Tad Red Medium make a very nice a rust brown color. You know, cut kind of a little richer than, say, uh, burnt sienna. I want to come in here like this on this. Now this is the trick here. We want to sort of blend this in with the yellow oxide like this. Okay, and we're going to start blending in this and come out this way on the plate. Again, this is not, I'm not claiming this is an original piece. I cannot remember the old dead guy that did it. I guess I, sh I was going to look it up for you and then I got busy. Well, I wasn't going to do this actually. <laughs> I was going to do it. But see, see, look at it. It's all shining now, right? See, and this is all layers. You saw that first layer, right? Okay. Okay, and this is coming out. There's a little bit over here. Just a little tiny bit of a highlight over here, like that. Here, we'll just do that with the finger. Okay. Maybe a little bit more this way. Okay. All right, now. All right, so coming along, and then I want a little bit of this kind of rust color. Put it on the paintbrush, wipe it off, and I want to suggest there might be a little of this color right there. In that purple, ooh, then I want some light purple color. We're just not rinsing the brush, because then, and then I'm going to bring this purple around just a little bit right here, like that. Okay, and then this is darker here. Now this is where you've got to start shading it. See this part inside here, just like we did right here. There's a little bit of dark right here. That's a shadow from the cup, right in here. But you still have the light ledge. Now. It, it, it. Rinse the brush, wipe it all off. Now I'm using water to blend this now. And I need a little bit more white because this has got to be lighter right here. Then I'm going to wipe the brush, put a little paint, and I'm going to work that in. Like that. That's make it look shiny. Yeah, this is how we're doing all these little weird, shiny, shiny surfaces. And the brushes got these ruby satin silver angle brushes are the bomb. Because you can see, look at the tiny edge I can get. And I'm just sort of spinning, I'm just spinning the brush around like that. Okay, like that. I want a little bit lighter right, a little bit of white and yellow oxide. I want it lighter right on the lip of this um, plate right here. I want it lighter. And then I'm going to wipe the brush, and this is the trick. You wipe it all off and then just sort of bring it down in here like this particularly where it's going to be the lighter here, and then it goes back to darker. A little bit of burnt sienna right into this area. See? So it doesn't, do you see how it's starting to... Um, I think I want to bring, bring, brighten up that just a hair. 
And remember, if you go over something too much, you'll start to erase. That's why you have to dry. So you have to be kind of careful. If you find you get too much water on your brush, you start picking up the paint instead of uh, getting, you know, instead of getting that to happen. All right. So now, so far so good. Here's a little purple. I want that on the inside here too. A little bit of a dark line here. Um, I had a little bit of a dark lip like this. I'm not sure I like that, but that's okay. We, when in doubt, take it out. Yeah. There. So again, we want this side a little bit darker on here, where our lip is. A little bit darker over here. All right. So see, so we just keep playing. Again, we haven't done the cup handle thing yet. I keep that's my disclaimer. We haven't done it, but I might want a burnt a little bit of burnt sienna right here like that on here, like that, just this. I know it's subtle, but it looks shiny. You start doing stuff like this and it starts to look shiny. And here's the cad red medium and a little tiny bit of purple. And we've got this more of this reddish brown color. And put that right there, like that. Get that a little bit shiny and put a little of that color on the cup too. I like that, okay. So now I'm going to rinse the brush, and I don't want this line here. So using just water, now I'm going to just sort of in circular pattern, I'm just going to blend that out. Okay. So far, so good. Yay. All right. So I have to dry this. Any questions before I start drying? Um, he's looking, you guys. He's looking why I'm fooling around here. Nope. I think okay. you're clear. All right. So I'm going to dry this real quick so that we can put the handles on. All right. So, all righty. And let me just turn this upside down and make sure I have it level. Um, I don't think I do, which is going to bother me. This is where you do the quick. Yeah, close enough. Okay. If you really were going to do this, you would just do it on paper first and get it perfect and then put it on there. But just a thought. Mm. All right, while she's drawing that, I saw a question go by about the trivia game. Since we rearranged the uh, studio, I have not seen that trivia game. I have to ask the boys, Chester and Sammy, if they've been playing with it and put it somewhere. Does Ginger have lessons on oval shapes? I have issues with ovals. Well, a lot of the things she does, does do ovals. Do you have a lesson strictly on oval shapes? Well, we do, and you, don't we have that on the, could we, isn't that in the Back to Basics? Not just ovals. Not just not ovals. Not just a bunch of ovals. Well, I mean, it's... probably it's, not a bad idea. We might add that to that. Yeah, that we group, probably Because should. that's what, everybody seems to have problems with ovals. Okay, so this was a, 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 or, or, a cute little orchid of some kind, but let's, let's get our, let's put our ears on here. Um, Most people about might call those handles, but they're ears to her. Yeah, let's just, yeah, maybe they're handles to you. I don't know. We're just going to... You, you've only used titanium white so far, correct? Yeah, it's the only use. I'm going to come in here a little bit on this one, a little further. This one comes uh, right here at the edge of the plate. It cl clips up, and it's like a question mark. You can do that, right? It's like a question mark. You can't miss it, and um, it's going to come down on this side, and I think I'm a little high here. This is why we dried it. So it will just come a little bit lower. You know, it kind of would follow, wouldn't it? The this. So you know, just think think about that for a minute. You don't see this side. It, the way the guy did it was kind of hid the handle on this side, but you really saw it on this side, which is different. You know, given that. Okay. And then we had um, uh, then we had this flower here. So I had this sort of shape that came out this way. And then a little sh kind of a circular shape with a hook on top. And then I had another little shape that came in here like a, a bean. And then you got to just decide what these are. And then a little shape here. Then we had a leaf that came this way. And a leaf that came like that. And then we had some sort of little leaf that came like that. Petal. Okay. And voila, a flower. So now that we have that, let's take a little bit of white and burnt sienna and kind of rough that in. This was the 
a little bit of burnt sienna on the inside of this one, like that. And I think there was this one here was some, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, that's this one, was a more burnt sienna. And then this one back here had something like that. And then the others were kind of white and purple with a little magenta in them. So this one had a little magenta in it. A lot of times that you're, when, you're, when you're painting something like this, it's, um, and that's too much paint on the brush, uh, you're just sort of, if you do the, if you're not even sure what it is, if you just do the colors, just do the lights and darks, you'll end up with it. Does that make sense? So here's a little white and ultramarine blue now. And it's interesting, I loved all the colors that were in this flower. This one was, we haven't put the highlights on yet, this one was kind of blue. This one came out a little further, but it had a little brown on the center. Okay. And that's one of the easiest ways, if you don't know what something is, turn it upside down and just paint the shapes. Pretend like you are, have been honored by the government to translate Martian, and this is the word for hello. So you don't know, it's not a flower, it's not anything. You're just trying to get the shapes right, okay? See that now, so far, that doesn't look like a flower yet because we don't have any contrast. So meanwhile, back at the ranch, that's drying. So we'll take a little yellow oxide and burnt sienna and come up here like this and come around here and um, we'll do the first handle, okay? Our question mark handle like that. All right, now that's a, then we'll come over here and do this one. Okay. And again, somebody wrote me, I think when I did, when we, when we showed this one, okay, which I think is a great, is a great video. I saw some of you guys, one lady did this with, I think it was, I don't want to say the name because I can't remember, but I think I remember it, but I don't want to be wrong, but uh, never want to be wrong. But she did the background, instead of in my browns, she did it in this turquoisey blue and had that showing in part of the water. It was stunning. Um, look, you can find, if you go to Ginger Cook Live on Pinterest, 2018 Student Gallery, um, you can see it if you want to see what she did. I thought, I was inspired. I actually really so loved it. Such a good idea. So um, let's see, a little bit of cad red medium and purple. We want that sort of burnt sienna look color. I'm going to come in here like that, come out around, and back in there, and I want a little bit. There's less of that color here. Okay, so now I'm going to take uh, some yellow oxide and I want the inside of this to be lighter here like that and then a little bit of yellow oxide and white and I want the top of this to be lighter right like that. Okay, there's just the top of, the, of it and then the inside, okay, there. There's the inside of that and then there's a purple shadow that comes straight down from here that um, and underneath there like that. That's way cool, right? The purple shadow, okay? So you gotta, see, it's all about, honestly, it's all about lights and darks. So like, for instance, if I look over here, this is a dark edge. I wanna put a little tiny bit of what they call reflected light edge on this. Um, this is what you call reflected light, it's not, in other words, there's a dark shadow here, but there's a sort of a secondary light source on the other side of something. And then I'm going to wet the brush, and I'm going to just have that. You barely are going to see that. That little tiny bit of light right there. See? On the cup. And that's this trick. Wherever there's a light, there's a dark. That's what you want to go for. Um, all right. So this is probably... Um, my, the, my plate is dried enough where I want to come up here like this and uh, do more of this light. Okay, a little yellow oxide, a little burnt sienna like this. I want a little bit more of this color in here like that. Got to brighten up my reflection. This was important. But I want it the lightest right here. Okay, so there's the reflection of the pot and um, you need to come under here with this. I didn't get my handle so perfect so I can just take the part and you know skinny it up. Okay. Now this is dried enough 
where what we can do, you're going, yeah, what can we do? Well, what we can do is we can um, put the lighter stuff on. So like, for instance, I know that this little part of the flower, kind of this little orchidy thing here, is like that. And then there's a little white thing right here. And this is a little bit of lighter up on top of here, like that, this little sort of bean shape. And like that. So I'm going to put a few little lights. Okay, just probably, just take it right here and look. See, we'll just do this. I'm going to bring some white down like this, kind of around here like this. And then there's this sort of ball here at this part, a little center ball thing. And then this is coming in here a little bit lighter, coming around like that. And um, now a little bit more white just on the tip of these to indicate a shape. I think there was a little bit of light on this one. I probably should go with a smaller brush. Where's the next smaller brush? Here, this is a, um, a one quarter inch uh, angle. And so it's a little bit easier to use when you're doing stuff like this. Because there is a, like, a little bit of a shape to this that you kind of have to get. And um, I want, like for instance, I want to come in here Get the outside of this. It's not so much an outline, but it, there is a um, uh, kind of a value difference. There's a little light purple, a little bit more white. There we go. And then a little bit of a dark purple. You know that palette knife is so that palette is so far away from me, John. It's like across the world. This is dark under here, so you start adding shadows. This is dark right here, a little purple and blue. Got a little dark spot in here. This is dark here. Let's just get rid of um, some of this dark. There we go. Okay. So now, here, let's uh, start finding our, just kind of defining our shapes a little bit. So you can come back here and you can kind of carve out your, your flower then you with the dark color you know like that let's say that there's our dark color and let's see so I think there was a little bit of dark above this a little bit of dark there a um, little bit of white somewhere here a little bit more white right there and I think I want a little of the magenta I didn't have it in the other one but I I think a little magenta is pretty so let's just just going to pop this colors up on this flower a bit. Sometimes when I'll first do something, if it's some old dead guy did it, I first do something, I try so hard to be exactly like them. And then after a while, I'm going, you know what? I need some color on this thing. So see, just even warming up that orange color a little bit right there, just with a little bit of orange. It just looks a little better, see? So then what happens is that you've got this white magenta color, and you're coming right along here like this. And that's the shine. You just kind of take, put it on your brush, wipe it all off, and there's the, see the shine? See how the plate looks really shiny? And here's the back edge of this plate. And I think I need to take that flower and get a little bit closer to the handle, like that. Here's a comment from Cracked Heart Studio. Oh, yeah. Hi, you guys. Ginger and John, I just wanted to thank you and tell you I appreciate all the effort, time you put in for our benefit. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. You know, we appreciate hearing back from you. You know, really, this is a lot like hollering down a rain barrel. <laughs> if we don't hear back from you, some of this says, you, how, do you, how do you like doing your art critiques? I love doing my art critiques because I can see what y'all are painting. I say, because... When I see improvements on people, I get so excited. John will tell you, I get what, look at what so-and-so's done. You can see how good they've gotten. And I, I did an art critique. I was doing art, got up at 6.30 this morning, was doing art critiques all morning, you know, personal art coaching, what we call PACs with a video, right? And I wrote this one gal and, um, you know, on her painting and made some pretty radical suggestions on the, on the changes, okay? I mean, they were, no question about it. And, um, uh, Okay, I'm going to have to dry that because I didn't really want wet red there. Well, I don't hate the red. Here we go. Okay. And anyway, uh, um, the upshot of it was is that within two hours, she had sent it back, back to me and totally fixed all, everything I'd said. I got to see it two hours later. What do you think about this? I'm going, oh, my gosh, that's so, that's so awesome, right? 
So we have to come up here, and let's see, we have to make sure that we've got them. We've got to come back with our background. I don't know if I want purple, but we've got to come back with the background now, kind of straighten out stuff. Is that one handle stain red? No, this is not, no. I, I just, I'm letting it dry because it, you oh, know, okay. sometimes when you get color on stuff, you, yeah. you, you're just sort of stuck with it for a while until it dries. But this is definitely going more of a brown under here on the table, okay? And, um, and we're just, I just needed to get kind of get rid of some of the chalk and where I'd erased, you know what I mean? There, see, it's just, it's starting to clean it up now a little bit better, isn't it? Um, a little bit of white right here on the top of this. It would have a little tiny bit of yellow oxide in it, a little tiny bit. Right up here, there's a little bit of a light, like a light highlight. There's a light highlight right up here. Okay, so this is what this is what you know what I'm doing now is just putting in. If I put a little paint, I might wipe it off, and then bring this down a little bit. There, okay. And now this is because it's metal. This is where we're putting the lights. You know the highlights, right? On the metal, and that's just it's not totally. There's just little spots where it's a little bit brighter than others. Okay. And I want to bring this out around here, this petal, like this. Okay. Oh, this had a little white. I'm seeing it now. Just following. All I'm doing is just following patterns. Okay. There's a little flowery thing here. Um, a little bit of light right there on the upside of this handle right there, which it didn't. it's not quite going where I want it. Right, like that. So if that's light, then this other stuff, you'll see me tap the brush off all the time. Then I go to reshape it like this. This is dark right here. Okay? So that's that's the trick. Wherever there's a light, there's a dark, but we want to... This is where you want to uh, sort of... On my artist tape out now. So I want a pretty good. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm going to have to dry that before I, was I do artist say, tape. You just painted a bunch of uh, wetness on there. I can. Nothing's going to. That was a dumb idea. That's not going to work either. And I want to make sure that line's real small. This is dark. Now let's get. You're right. Nothing. Look, the tape won't even stick to it. It's not fun. Nothing sticks to this surface. Okay. So now, let's come under here with that, and I'm going to do the. Fix that handle. I think I can gone far enough where I can fix that handle now. I know I want it sort of like this lighter part underneath, and then I want it more brown. The handle's not red, it's just it's brown. And here's the dark. You can come in like like that with your dark, like a little oval in here. There's this little circle here, and then you know it's dark. And this has got to come out a little bit more. The edge of this, uh, this is going to come out just slightly this way. Um, feel like that's a little high, you know. And this is, you know, don't be afraid. I mean, if you didn't get it quite drawn on right, it's not like you can't adjust it. You know what I'm saying? But you can. You can adjust it. You you just have to take the time to do it. Remember you asked about steam. We might put steam in there. We could, right? Why not? I'm just going to make sure I've got the my oval right before I get too carried away with it. And now I'll take the light color because I want a light color right on the lip. Really like Thanks, Sissy, for the donation. Oh, thank you, Sissy. That's so nice. We appreciate it very much. Thank you, thank you. That's lovely. All right, so I'm going to wipe off this. Um, I need a little more color on here, on this lip, right in here and next to there. I'm going to make sure I've got the bottom part of this the same width. Okay, so I'll blend that in like that. I want to come up here like this. I didn't quite have it right on the right hand side, but that's, you know, it's a doable fix. Here it is, light right there. And I'll just, again, this is just a matter of layers. 
the more layers you do, the easier it gets. And that's what's so funny, that people don't understand it. If you let it dry, and the next time the paint goes on, it's much easier after you've had a few bits of paint on it. People say, well, do I have to do an underpainting? Well, it's just how frustrated you want to be. You don't have to do anything, but I think you should be glad that you did. How's that? I think you'd better go now this side, the inside of here, this part where it makes the curve. And for me, it's easier to turn it. Now, I'm going to rinse the brush. I want it just slightly damp. And uh, there we go. I'm going to rinse it. Any other questions, John, why I'm making these uh, little repairs? Yes. Doesn't this video have a title or name? No, we don't have a title. Help us with the title. What should we call it? Help us. We need a title, people. people. We didn't know we were painting until five minutes before the show. No, we didn't know. So, you know, it's hard to give a title when you don't know what you're painting, huh? So we don't know. What should we call it? Something that you might look, look for, like simple ways to paint metal, right? How to make metal reflections in a cup. Pewter plate. Pewter plate. How to silver do a pewter plate. plate. Silver. I don't know if you can see it. It almost looks silver, doesn't it? Now, I'm going to do something very bold here. Oh, no. I'm going to take and get off the, get rid of the chalk off this picture. Now, this is why I love a dried painting. Let's move this out of the way. All right. See? Doesn't it help? Look at that. See? There goes the chalk. The chalk's gone. Don't you love chalk? Yes, we love chalk. All right, so we want a little bit of a light purple color. So not quite white back here, kind of a light purple color. And we want to come back up here where the handle was and do the outside reflected surface of this. Vintage, vintage coffee and metal plate. Oh, yeah, it could be. Metal yeah, cup yeah. and saucer. Uh, it's not a metal cup, though. All right, so I want to come up here like this. And make sure this is, I want it very light here. Do you see, do you see all this layers of stuff? People think you can just do this real quick. But there's layers of stuff that happen. I'm going to bring that white back out. I cut that thing off too quick right here. Okay. There we go. How I want this metal. stuff. Huh? How to paint metal. Yeah. How to, paint reflect, how to paint a reflective surface, right? Because that's what you're doing. You're just painting a reflective surface. And... You know, sometimes you have to, like, for instance, let's bring this like that. You know, you got to, you may have to play with it a little bit. Maybe it didn't quite, I mean, it probably would be, you know, ideally speaking, in an ideal world, you would have drawn this on a piece of paper and had it perfect before you started making adjustments on the plate. But it looks pretty good, doesn't it? All things considered. All I mean, things considered. I mean, it's just for sitting down, just, you know, doing something. Looks looks pretty good to me, you know. Anyway, I might look at it tomorrow and go, "Oh, I should have done this." But that's a good thing, it's, you know. Let's see. Then now we're a little bit we're a little bit of a point here. So what we have to do here is um, morning reflections. Oh, that's a good title. Oh, morning reflections. But I don't know anybody search for that. But it's a great title, isn't it? See how I'm sort of cleaning up the edges. You know, this is what you want to do. You want to clean up the edges. Okay, of your cup. And uh, again, I want to um, uh, paint the inside of this dark part here of my candle. Just put the handle inside of the handle back right like that. Okay, so that see that really stands out. Now you've got the. Um, uh, Heather would like to know, how do you determine what color to use as an underpainting? Um, generally speaking, you know, you need something. There's a, there's a, Heather, that's a good question. There's a lady in Hawaii who just paints everything red on general principle. We, um, and then she paints. Uh, I like to find a, a dark color, a color that's underneath the color that's underneath the color. For instance, on something like this, I need it a little bit more brown, right? Dark brown so that I can keep going. Like, for instance, when I... I mean, I've done a little bit of this. Now Now that this background's dry, this is the second layer on this background, right? But now that this background's dry, 
I can come in because that's dark. I can come in and, you know, really um, kind of warm up this, um, um, you know, maybe make this, you know, for instance, like right next to this part here, if I made that a little lighter, um, I, I can kind of do that afterwards too. Um, you can't really do a good background like this unless you have paint on there, okay? So and I just think it kind of, it's not just so boring if you do something like this. Sometimes we want something darker in the corners. Ultramarine <laughs> blue and burnt umber are darker for the corners, but then maybe you want a little cad red medium and burnt umber and warm something up. Now, I'm just going to show you what would happen if you put that color. That may be more than I want. All right, so, but I can work, I can keep playing with the backgrounds, put a little purple on that, tone that down. Um, so it's just not a dull painted background. So it doesn't just look like something that came out of a coloring book, right? So I said, this background is a lot more interesting than the one I did originally. Because even though it's subtle, when you see it in person, you're going to, you know, and again, I know I want something a little darker on my coffee cup than I quite have yet. I think I'll have to change brushes again. I can't do that one. Hey, I'd like up. to thank Madonna for the donation. Oh, wow. Thanks thank you. Thanks so much for another fantastic lesson. Thank you. Love your stories and lessons. You and John are amazing. See, thank we're you. amazing today. Hey, it's good to be amazing. I like it. Amazing works. Disappointing and amazing. What kind of brush is that? Oh, that was oh, a round that, brush that, you were that, doing. The other one was round. All right. I want to, I want to, if you want to clean up a good edge, you know what I'm saying? If you want a nice clean edge on something, I just did that. Um, you're going to have you to got a couple it. of things you can do. Um, if you want to, for instance, if you were having trouble, if you really had a good drawing and you were having trouble um, doing this, you can buy curved tape and use it too. And that's really effective. You can buy curved tape. Um, I want this a little bit darker back here. There's just, you know what I mean? How you look at the shadows and go, I want this a little darker right there. You know, a little bit darker right here. Reflections on pewter. Yeah, reflections on pewter. Well, I mean, and that's exactly what it is, too, isn't it? Reflections on pewter. And um, my mother, my adopted mother had a lot of pewter. Um, we'll tell you that story. Um, all right, let me just dry this real quick, okay? And thanks very much for everybody that's been, you know, we appreciate all the contributions. We just bought a ton of paint when we were on our cruise. And like I say, we pretty much buy it like you do. So thank you very much. All right, while well, she's drying that, anything else we got going on here? Yes, Judy, we'll try to get the um, titles the same. It's not always easy, but we'll try to do that. Um, Judy wants us to make sure that we call it the same between what you call it and what I call it. Well, you know what? That's a good thing. That's a good point, Judy, because <laughs> she tries to find these lessons, and it's like talking to schizophrenic people. Yes. And, and she's too polite to say so, but that's exactly what she's thinking. I know it is, right? Grandpa's teacup. Old man's terracotta cup. Mug. See, a little bit of light here. Just wherever there's a light, there's a dark. And it's just, just, uh, um, it's just, again, you can't, I can't say enough about, um, you know, playing with your light source. Pewter or, you know, and pottery. Like this. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just interesting. Oh, yeah, I dried this for a reason. I just don't want to get too crazy on you, right? So if I said this is where I want my, my, I'm going outside that a little bit for my light. It's my straight line here. Now I put the paint on, wipe it off. You with me? And come over this like this. We'd like to thank Maureen for uh, making a donation to the PayPal system. Oh, thank you very much. You know what would really be nice of you guys? You know, we understand everybody's on a budget. And it sounds like we're just asking for money. But you know what I am going to ask you to do? Put these videos in your playlist, even if you never look at them again. I don't care. <laughs> Put them in your playlist because if they're in a playlist, YouTube thinks they're special and they're going to show them to more people. So you want to really help me out? Um, share the videos. You know, go do a Facebook share and put them in your playlist. That's really nice. Besides, you subscribing to the channel. That's a really nice thing you can do. And people have no idea. Really? I have no idea. that. Well, the algorithms, Cinnamon, I don't understand all this stuff, you know. Cinnamon can sit there and tell you about algorithms and all this and that. And honest to gosh, I don't know, you know. But I do know, I've read somewhere, and I believe that it's true, 
that if you put our um, uh, uh, video in your playlist, YouTube is more likely to show it to somebody else. So, I mean, how can you go wrong with that, right? I mean, even if, and then, then uh, I know that you there's more paintings in a, a week than you have time to paint. And we understand you don't have time to paint everything. But, you know, sometimes you can just refer back and just watch it again. Because, you know, you're going to learn a bunch of stuff. You know, I'll always tell you why you're doing something. You know, I mean, I, I really want that. That to me is very important is to tell you why we do things. You know, yes, we, we, yes, we want this, but why do we want it? OK, um, that's that to me is key. And again, I want it just lighter up in here like this. There's not a tech bear playlist video yet. But one, one, one is in the works, though. Yeah. See, do you see what I see script. what a great um, you see what a great edge you get when you do that. You can really see it, can't you? Just um, and then I want that little bit of light right there on the edge. Yes, putting them into YouTube favorites works as well. Yeah, YouTube favorites. Yeah, yeah, favorites. Yeah. So um, you know, these are all you know lovely things that you could do. Right, and I'm still bothered by this. I'm still trying to work on fixing this. See, but that's okay. That's the that's the beauty of acrylics. You know, I'll look at that and say, okay, I've got to fix that right there, and I will. So that's that's what you can do too. Is you, you kind of look at that and go, that's slightly off. I know how, but I know how to fix it. Okay, and that, and I know you do too. So that's that's the kind of a thing. And I might want a little bit of a light right here around the bottom of this. Okay. Here, and I wanted it something really light right here. That's just titanium white. Just you know what I mean? You just just those little things make a difference. And here, let's make sure we're really incongruent about our flower. Um, sometimes you have to do two bits of you know, a couple layers of, of paint for it to show up. If some and see people say, How much paint do you use? Maybe I'll go over it twice. Now that's yeah. I might go over something twice, two or three times, ten times. Oh, you, yeah, I'm gonna say. So it's, you don't always get the paint on the first time. You see what I'm saying? You won't necessarily get it the first time. I'm just gonna kind of exaggerate a little bit like that. Okay, there we go. I mean, I just um, want to lighten up this a little bit of yellow. Probably didn't need that much yellow. I want to lighten up this little bit right here on the flower. Because wherever there's a light, there's a dark, and that little corner isn't showing up. Okay. I'm going to put a little of that color in there like that, too, okay, in the flower. Thank um, you. Uh, do, thank you, Missy, for the, the donation. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's very nice. You are worth much more. If I had it, you'd get it. That's all oh. right. Every little penny helps. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Because we took a big advantage of Jerry's Matisse art sale. On their paint and we heard that Matisse is coming out Judy told us this that Matisse is going to actually come out with a zinc white um, uh, you know available in the states this they, they apparently they've got it but it'll be available in the states this year okay so a little bit of burnt umber ultramarine blue I think I want this darker right here right next to there this little edge I still I just didn't feel like I had enough dark here you can use your finger and kind of spray it around. Just wanted to just sort of exaggerate that mug just a little bit, you guys. Just a little bit. There we go. I've just got the shadow under there. Make that a little darker right there. Oh, we've got to come up to the lip. That's what happened. Oh, I see what I did. I see what I did. Okay, I got it. When I changed that, I didn't bring that up. Well, see? That's it. Then I got it. There's the top of that again. Here's the top of this again. Dries darker. Remember, we talked about that. Got to make the curve here. This reminds me of my sister-in-law that never made left-hand turns in her car. She just says, "I'm sorry, I can't make left-hand turns. I have to go around the block. I do other things to get home. I don't drive a big truck." You might consider something smaller. It scares you. Okay. There. It's lighter right there. Okay. All right, so uh, somebody asked about some 
some sort of steam coming out of this or something out of the coffee. Let's let's you make this a little bit make it a little bit more brown in here like that, right? A yeah. good cup of joe. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, let's see. Let's bring this around like this a little bit around here like this. Boy, I'm going to be sitting here playing with the top of this for a while, but I, I think I'm okay. Now, I want a little steam. So what you would want to do is either have some zinc white or some mixing white. Zinc white is a transparent white, so is mixing white. And you just wouldn't need very much. I'll put a little bit out on the plate. Or the, uh, palette. Palette thingy. Now I'm going to wipe. I think I will get a uh, kind of an old brush like this one that's, um, wow, that's where the tape come from. Something like this that's kind of frayed. I'll put now, the, do you need to dry that brown before you do this? I do. Good thought. Good thought, Baba Louie. All right, I'm going to dry the brown. Yeah, good thought. Okay. She's drying that off. Well, I'm, I guess that finger was ginger. Yeah, we, we ordered directly online with the Matisse from Jerry's right now. They still have the best price. At least they did when they had their sale. Oh, we All go right, directly yeah. to Jerry's. Yeah. Artorama. All right, so we're going to... Um, wipe all the off and then we're just going to make little circles like that so this is just zinc white this is zinc white and nothing basically and dry brushed on in a swirling pattern yeah just uh how cool is that go. right and then you might want if you want to be the last of the big spenders you might want to just do something like this to suggest that there was something in the cup right too oh look at that you know and then as long as you were doing it zinc white's very nice to um to Put make the, just an accent color it, it makes a very good um um highlight if you're trying to highlight and you want it really more translucent like for instance right like that see what it just did on that plate um it's a tricky thing zinc white okay absolutely very tricky here, let me get a little bit more of it here, like right here next to this cup. I want it to bring it around like that on the inside of that. And um, see, I mean, that's really a cool thing you can do with that. Okay. There, like that. So um, can you can you take a little bit of, say, zinc and, say, another color? It's the other thing, too, is that you can, it will make a translucent color. You can, you know what I mean? Like this is slightly lighter than, but not as light as if you added titanium. See, like that. And so I can take a little bit of, just like in here, like that. See, I want this a little lighter right here. Kind of some sort of reflection going on on that plate. Okay, and the same thing here with the zinc and the yellow oxide. Can do, um, just pull this here. And give me a, just a slight hint of color. And you really, honestly, Let's bring this out a little bit more like that on the edge here, like that. I mean, I think it's a cool effect. Don't you Don't you guys think so? I think it's a really cool effect that, you know, just put a little color up in here. If you want to come up on the inside of this, not have something so bright or, you know, zinc white is a very handy. All right, um, and then the other thing I want to do too is I feel like I got a little square on the bottom of the cup. Surely someone noticed that. You're all too polite. Don't tell her. She probably figured it out. I know you're all saying that, right? Don't tell her, but she's not round on the bottom of her cup. Hey, we'd like to thank May for the donation. Thank really you, appreciate that. Thank you so much. That is so kind. We appreciate it Would you like to run much. through the colors again when you're done with that? Point to each one and give the color name. Oh, you bet. Uh, we'll you do bet. that here in a moment. You see, I just had to round up the bottom of the cup a little bit, right? See, all these things make a difference. Come on, you're going to round this corner up here, too. There you go. You, you're a rounder. Isn't that fun? I mean, I think, I think this is pretty, and I think if you did both of these, I think these make really nice, interesting paintings that you could hang in a kitchen. You don't have to be, you can do it small or big, but I think they're pretty, and I think they really look way cool. Right? So, I mean, that's just me, but I think they do. You know, but then I like this kind of stuff. Uh, somebody, like I say, somebody wrote and complained that nobody wants to do this old brown junk. We hate your channel. 
<laughs> Honest to gosh, they said something like Change that. Change the be, channel, people. You know, obviously, you hate us. If you cared about us, you'd ask what we wanted to paint. And you obviously don't care about us, and you'd tell us what we want to paint. You know what? Um, huh. What yeah. do you think I really wanted to say? You just fill in the blanks for me. You can be the one that sells, that sells you know. Oh, I liken that. You guys liking that? Yep, we're liking that. I'm liking that. I just feel like I want a little highlight. Even though it's not in this one, I just feel like I want a little more highlight right here. And there we go. All right. And, uh, oh, let's bring a little bit of dark. You could just play with this because there's a little bit of a dark shadow here. So, ooh, that's too much. So let's just take that. You've got to know when to pull it off here. There we go. See, it's a little dark right there. There we go. How neat is that? Great fun. You, what, you hope you look, guys felt you could learn something today. I just wanted a little bit more color in this than I had. Okay, yeah, there you go. Your fingers are good. Fingers are good. And then the other thing you can do is you can do a little glazing. Glazing is where you take the color in water. And like, for instance, this is white. And I'll go over this with water and just tone that white back there. See? I don't think she's on Facebook anymore, that one that said that. Uh, no, she's, no she was, she's gone. She's out. She's gone, and I wanted to... Uh, uh, uh. There. No, I'm just saying I wanted to do something right there. All right, I need a little bit of white right there. See, look at that. See, the white disappeared on me. So annoying. Is that what happens? Is that so annoying? I spent all day putting that white there. Well, you know what I did? And it has a lot of nerve to just leave on me. <laughs> so there you go. There's my little flower. Fun little flower. And um, and what kind of flower is that? I think it was a little orchid. I think they wanted some sort of little orchid thing. Hey, we're really sorry about the buffering, guys. I don't know what to tell you. We're giving a good feed here. As far as the stream on my end of YouTube, it says they're receiving it. I don't know what the problem is. I'm getting on my iPad. I'm getting buffering like crazy as well. I don't know what to tell you. We, you know, what we could do is do pre-recorded lessons, put them up there, and just be on the chat as it goes up or something. I don't know what we could do. I don't think so. Well, I don't know what we could do. It's, it's a pain. We really, we have no, we're just sort of stuck, right? All right, we're stuck. All right, so there's our, there's our flower, and I want a little bit lighter on the inside of that flower there, right on the inside here. This was a little too dark. Remember that we keep talking about wherever there's a light, there's a dark, yeah? There we go. Let's do a little of that color right there. All right. Perfect. All right. I'm going to sign it. I think we're going to call this a, call this done. That won't work. And then we'll call do. Call this done. We're going to call this done. Uh, I don't think that was one of the choices for the titles, but okay. Really? Apparently we're calling it done. I'm calling it you done. I'm calling it done, done, man. I'm calling it done, right? Calling it done. Calling it done. Well, I mean, I, you know, there's something, you know, there's a little bit of, there you go. The red slash through the thing. There's a little red right here. Boy, part of me so wants to put color places. So hard not to. All right. All right. There's our little flowery orchid thing and our cup. And I hope that you guys had fun painting this. And, you know, again, um, I think the colors really go well with this one. Yes, they do. Well, because well, you made the backgrounds so similar. Yeah. Then that's what you got to do. You know, sometimes you got to do that. And I think our steam came out. Don't you think our steam came out? Oh, steam looks great. Yeah, that's like just, a good hot cup of coffee. There, even more right in there like that. Exaggerate it even more like that. A little, little steam coming right. out of there. Okay. So what we're going to do next is we will do a fast 10-minute um, uh, giveaway. Right, what, is the, what is the secret word of the day? Secret word of the day was salmon. Salmon. And why was it salmon? Ooh, Alaska salmon, baby. Alaska salmon. Is that why? Yep. It's, okay, Alaska. Uh, sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alaska? Alaska salmon. All right. So all there's right. the official link for the paintings that she's about to do. And that's not the one that she's doing currently. You're supposed to be done with that. Hello? I know, but don't you ever just see things that you need to do? No. Apparently not. Well, you, you should. You signed it. When it's signed, it's done. Is that the rule? Well, it wasn't. See, look at there. That, that little light spot. What a way. You saw me put it there, and it's gone now. It's just, a, you know, look at that. See, that made a difference. It did. And now the painting's done. All right. Now it's done. All right. This was fun. Um, 
Now this is the, I didn't get much on this table, but I got some little spotty things, right? So if I grab, hang on, look at this. I'm gonna, I could have used a damp cloth, but this is even better because my hands are dirty. We're, we're gonna paint something. You were gonna give me the, the little things to paint on. Oh, that means I get up. This is, uh, before I take this away, if you're wondering what these are, these are tub of towels. And um, I, John and I, I got a little commercial. Not because, you know, look, John and I found these last August, and I was so excited because they, they, they take, they clean up everything, and yet they don't leave your hands feeling like you dipped them in kerosene, you know? Um, and you don't smell like you did either. I mean, they're really nice. And um, this little mat thing is so perfect. Look at that. Thank you again. Uh, Joe, Joe Parker for this mat. Oh my gosh, that Joe is Parker, just you are the hero. Of the you're day. The, my hero. No, my uh, hero. Yeah, look at that. Um, uh, that and the tub with towel combo. Yeah, so, so I'm just. What did you do with all my canvases that I painted? I give up. What did you do with them? <sighs> you took them away from me. You said That's you're busy fair. and you took them away. I mean, look at this. I mean, my hands are just uh, a mess, you know, from all this. Uh, I don't know who manages to paint and not make a mess. It certainly isn't me. Um, no. You ever do that where you kind of do Russian roulette with your clothes? You're on your way out the door and, and you see something in your painting you want to fix and you're in your good clothes and you can go, I can be careful. <laughs> Have you ever done that? No. <laughs> of course you didn't. Some of us, you know, and then Some you're not do that. and you're not careful and you're looking through your wardrobe and you realize you don't know any own anything anymore without paint on it. You're going, hmm. Which is why I started to paint my shirts, you know, finally. I started to just paint on my shirt so that I'd look in my jeans so it would look intentional. Was this brush used today? I give up. Was it? Yes, it was. Um, here I go. All right. So look, all that is on the towel and no longer on me. And our gray is back oh. to gray. And our gray is back to gray. Oh, here. You put them in here so you would have them ready available. Uh, I'm so organized. Well, John cleaned everything up. You can kind of tell, can't you? John cleaned everything up. Yay, John. Yay, cleaned John. everything up. Here, I even know where the cleaner is. When is the name of the mat? I love that mat. I'm telling you what, this is the, we the bomb. We love the mat, too. Gal, can you put that link up there again for the mat? It's Ken Oliver. The Ken Oliver mat. Yeah, I'm telling you what, that is the bomb. It is the bomb. The bomb. So, yeah, we already had 101 responses. People are already voting. On a painting you haven't even begun yet. Well, that that that's faith, right? Just describe faith. Watch, you know. There you go. This is a nice dark green background. That's pretty, I like that. So, what are these? You say, what are these? These, what my are dear these? friends, are. Um, isn't that funny how you can make friends with people all over the world and we just know each other by our names? And I feel like we're, we're all just friends now. It's just so can, cool. Can, can you slide that stuff up a little bit because I have my blackboard across the bottom? Thank cool. you very much. Appreciate that. So this is this is some Paramount. Jerry sells Artorama sells these. These are real pieces of canvas to tend to a tablet. And when we have leftover paint like this at the end of a painting, John will just paint them and then I use them as backgrounds. Okay. This is your first underpainting. You have to have underpainting. You have to have, you it. have, so to have why, something I mean, on there. why throw all this away, you know? Um, and it doesn't really matter. You can always, it's just, just nice to have it um, dark. Now, for instance, we have dark backgrounds and maybe yellow ones. If you were doing a sunset, maybe you'd want a yellow background, that kind of thing. I'm going to put them back where I said, because I think that's kind of good, right? Just remember where they are. All right, I'm going to do that. I'm having fun with this. You guys having fun with this? Oh, we're having a ball with this. What are you going to paint? I don't know. Okay. Just talk, talk to keep me company and I'll come up with something, right? Keep you That's company. Me, keep me company and I'll come up with something. Apparently, cat hair stick badly to that mat. Cat hair does. Yep. Really? That's good to know. We have no cat. We have no intention of getting a cat, do we? No. Okay. Really? So if you have cat, may, this may not be the solution for you. Oh boy, that that would be. A... That's good to know. That was uh, I don't know who said that. Somebody did. Somebody said that, right? It went flying by. Well, gosh. I think Where I, does one in Canada get these? We do not know. We don't. We just got it ourselves. We've had it for like a, you know, like a week, a month, four, three days, four days. We haven't had it very long, but we knew. You know how it's like love at first sight. You just knew. You're going. Oh my! Where's this been all my life? This is just move great. That, move, move your canvas up one inch, please. Sure. Okay, that was like three inches. 
Oh, well. But I can deal with it. it. Put it back where it was. We quit moving it around. Oh, well, you were bitching. You were whining. <laughs> oh, oh, whoa. Good thing that we had to bleep on that one. <laughs> <laughs> you were whining. Nice on the button there, Sammy. <laughs> uh, wasn't he kind of whining a little bit? I mean, you all heard him. But to move it up here, I mean, I'm I'm just trying to be as cooperative as I can, right? Absolutely, and we appreciate that. I, I'm really working hard on to to get what we have going here. I mean, I'm really trying here. Um, I can't believe the output we're putting and we're getting buffering on my little tablet. Well, uh, again, you know, when you talk about um, uh, YouTube and the fact that we get it all for free, and I think we get... I think we get very, um, I don't want to think maybe the word isn't complacent, but just just keep in mind that we're very lucky to have any way to sh uh, to share these videos with you. It would be, if they could be perfect, then that'd be great. Um, John and I've got a new camera coming. No, we don't have a new it's camera coming. It's not a new coming. camera. It's a new, well, what is it? It's, we, we're it's getting a, a dolly for our camera. We got our get... movie camera, so we can put her back on the big easel doing big paintings for our academy members. Yeah, so that's coming, and you know what I mean. And that's coming, and I mean we're always trying to bring you the very stuff, best. The very best. I mean we really uh, make an effort to do that. Okay. Um, we 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 want it. We want whatever you you know whatever you're looking at. You, to be great, you know, we would that that would be our um, ultimate goal was that that you really get, you know, obviously we're not a TV production studio, we're just a couple of guys down here in Texas that um, you know have a YouTube channel and an art academy, and we started off with a three hundred and fifty dollar camera, and all practically for the first two years, any money we earned went right back into buying better equipment, um, and if we've left a couple videos up on you. You go up on our YouTube channel. You'll see some of our earlier videos. You can go back to the old days. You can go back to the old days and you see what we were trying to film with, okay? And um, you know, it wasn't that easy, okay? Um, and I would take. It was amazing that anybody would even watch us. I, I, but <laughs> you know what? The information was there, okay? That's that's what I would tell you was the information was there, and people liked the information. Um, that's the key. The inf you know when you've got good information. And you can share it with somebody, um, and that's what we tried to do. And then people said, well, well, why do you bother to do that? And I've said time and time again that, you know, in all these, when I first started off with acrylics, I was just in the, sort of this new breed of artists. You, the art galleries wouldn't take any paintings done in acrylics. Um, oh, it's like when photography went digital. Same problem. Nobody, it's, no, it's no longer art. Um, yeah, so it was a thing. And... Um, uh, uh, anyway, so when we, I'm going to have to put a little bit more water on that to get that to work. Um, Looks hmm. like trees. Yeah, there's some trees here. I would love to see Ginger paint some of the challenge photos. Well, that's one of the well, reasons we're Well, that's what we're going to, but we have to get the big easel so you can film it. I, John, for some reason, really wants you to be able to see every brushstroke I do. I think it's kind of silly, but he he feels that that would be uh, the best way to do it. So in order for us to do that... We well, have, we've asked our fans, what do you people want? You know, I keep trying new methods. I put a post out there. They they like the close-ups. They like to see the brushstroke. They like to see how much paint you put on your your silly brush. They want to see all this. Well, I understand because, you know, when you're trying to follow somebody, um, I, I suppose it helps to be able to see that. You know, um, you know I'm, John, I'm sure are you still mixing the numbers? Yes, I'm mixing the numbers. We're mixing, he's going to mix the numbers up. Uh, we're also going to give away two sample t tub of towel packages to anybody because the tub of towel people gave those to me. They don't pay me to say anything, but they did give me some towels to share with you. I just like to share with you the good stuff. I, um, those mats, you know, um, the only thing we did was make an affiliate link on Amazon for the, for them, but that's all, you know, we, th those people have never heard of us, but um, probably don't give a rip what we think, but we care what you think. So we wanted to tell you about them. How's that? John, did you get any good pictures of seals in Alaska? We have no seal lessons yet. But we Matter of fact, I think I do. Oh my gosh, we saw we some seals. seals. And then they're, they're, they're they some la lazy buggers, aren't they? 
Oh, they just lay around on those rocks. They were in the sun. They just, and it was cold, too, and I don't know why they thought that was warm, but they were out there, you know, that was a warm day for them, and we were looking around going, gosh, you'd think we were in Alaska. It's freezing. And then, <laughs> wait, wait, bulletin, we are in Alaska, right? And we are freezing. We, we are freezing. Oh, my gosh. It's, anybody else think it's freezing besides me? You know, this is fun. I get to use up all my paint now. My hubby bought me a big container of tubbo towels. You can't go wrong with a big tub. Love the tubbo towels. They, you, you like them, don't you? I mean, they're just great, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, we're not, We're not. you know, we just... We're not hot-dogging you on this stuff. No, it's really... I mean, every once in a while I find stuff that's really good. And, uh, you know, and we try to tell you um, if it's really good. Sometimes... Um, um, and 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 isn't that what you know? Isn't that how a lot of us buy things? Is um, um, you know, our friends say, "Guess what I found?" You go, "What did you find?" And then they'll tell you, and you go, "Oh, I want that. That sounds good, right? Like that. I want, how I want cold that." How cold was it? We were in the forties at night and fifty, sixty. No, we never hit sixty. I don't think we were in the fifties. And it was windy. You know, there's the wind chill factor. You got to got to factor yeah. that in, right? Windshield? How many hours of daylight did you have per day up there? Oh, I'm thinking the sun rose at, what was it, 5 and set around 10. So, like, a good 18 hours or more. Yeah, 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 right? Yeah, it was, it was, it was different. Um, well, it was fun. I mean, I, I, I liked it. We didn't get to see the Aurora Borealis or anything like that. They didn't have anything um, quite like that uh, when we were there because uh, it, you have to have a you have to have a cloud you have to have a sky that's not cloudy and the, and it was overcast. I was kind of wondering and there where was, you're going with that because you kept mentioning the word cloud. And um, yeah, it, it was a, it was a little bit um, it was a little bit. Cl- yeah, welcome to Canada in the winter season, freezing weather. Well, yeah, that's what Canada is. You guys are north. Yeah. Well, but gosh, you know, it's the reason people say that a trip to Alaska is a trip of a lifetime is because it's so pretty, right? It's very pretty. And um, Vancouver was very pretty, a very pretty town. I understand it's number three on the most expensive place to live in the entire world. Well, um, one thing I think that uh, Canada did, if I if I'm Canadians, if I'm wrong, you can tell me, but I had heard that. Um, what Canada had done was um, uh, when Hong Kong before Hong Kong used to be a British um, colony, and when they gave it back to the, the China, okay, uh, according to the treaty, which they were supposed to do, which they did, okay, they gave that back. Um, uh, a lot of uh, immigrants from Hong Kong came. So there's quite a Chinese community in, in, in Vancouver. And so that um, there were people that, you know, came and they they suddenly had a huge influx of population. Yeah. And anytime you have an area where everybody on their uncle, literally their uncle wants to live there, um, anytime you have something like that happening, right, then what you're going to have happen is that uh, if the prices are going to go up because it's supply and demand because people, you know, they want to next you know, be where their friends are, and everybody moved there. I don't know, I think that's pretty much true. I think that's, I think that's a fairly a- a- accurate representation of something that sort of happened. What do you think, John? Is that, you think I'm not too far off on that? No, I? no, no you, it is. It's, it's a law of supply and demand. Yeah, just that, like, for instance, at Seattle at one point, you know, you couldn't give the place away. Well, when I was growing up, you know, you live in Seattle, I'm so sorry, you know, kind of thing going... Thanks, right? And so we put in a couple of big companies and bought like, a bank. Like micro, Microsoft and, you know, and, and that Boeing. kind of stuff. And then, wow, and then everybody wants to live there, right? So, well, I still mean... still didn't that, improve the weather any. No. No. And um, they, they, nothing changed except that they um, they brought in... Um, um, uh, jobs. And so they made a place where people wanted to live. And... and um, I'll tell you what, I mean, I think Vancouver is one of the prettiest places I've ever been. I mean, the weather's not as ideal, say, as Hawaii, but boy, it's sure nice. 
Yeah, I would like okay. to visit there. We we flew in. I think next time we're going to, we're going to do the trip, we're going to drive up. Oh, well, you know what? It was the plane thing was such an experience. I don't know. Did we tell oh, we you about that we didn't even talk about happened? the plane thing. Oh, i got to tell oh, you about this. this well, was, I'm telling you. It's, it's, this We flew up on United and, um, you know, and Airlines, and uh, we... Um, they um so we flew out of hard. Houston. We're flying out of Houston to Vancouver Houston. via Seattle. Yeah. yeah, so anyway, so the upshot of it was is that we're flying out of Houston and and uh, um we're sitting on the runway. nobody's going anywhere. And we're going, why are we sitting on the runway? And apparently, after a while, because I guess you could you know you can almost feel the tension in the airplane like, uh oh, something broke. We're not going anywhere, you know. Then they don't want you know you just to be too scary. So they're going. Oh well, um, we hate to tell you this, but um, we um, the computer in Chicago that runs the all the weight luggage distribution. weight distribution uh, figures for all our airplanes all over the world is broken today. And so we're trying to figure this out. I don't know with a pop calculator. I don't know what they were trying to figure it out with, but. Um, <laughs> I don't know, but um, so they they couldn't take off because they weren't sure that the weight distribution in, in the cargo bay was correct. Yeah, so there we sat, and yeah. uh, for and about sat. an hour until they figured it out. Well, then, then of course we're late for uh, where we're late for our uh, Seattle flight that we had to catch, and then that plane was late. And so then we had to sit on that runway for an hour up in Seattle because they had lost their time to, to check out. Yeah, we lost our um, window of parking in Vancouver. They go, well, we have to wait until so parking is available in Vancouver. They don't have a place for us to sit up there because it's a very small airport. It seemed to be a very small airport from what we saw of it. And um, so we sat there in Seattle for a while. Yeah, we did. And I tell you, if you don't upgrade your seats, you're in a sardine condition otherwise. So, um, anyway. But I need to say, fly, flying is not, you know, when we're used to cruise ships that have lots of room and food and entertainment, uh, air travel is not for me. Um, well, yeah, exactly. And um, let's see, I think I'm out of, let me just move this out of the way here. Um, yeah, no, it, but you know, we got up there and fine and, and it was, it was fine and we got up there, but it was just, I think now I would not try to do anything the same day because I found that, um, that the stress level is just too high for me. It's not really jet lag because it wasn't, it's was only a couple hours difference. That wasn't a big deal, but you're right. The stress level. Well, it's as high and John you, keeps going, you've got to chill. And he, he's never really traveled with me where there's been any stress <laughs> and he's going, you really go nuts, don't you? You just go nuts. Okay. Oh, she goes absolutely nuts on this. And I was trying to be good. I think, God, I'm, I'm holding it in. What if you really <laughs> saw how I was? There? Oh, just... man. I tell you, when we drive over to Florida, it's a lot more pleasant. Yeah, I mean, just, he just, um, well, what can I say, right? All right, so this. Um, so what are we calling this? This looks like a fairy garden. It's like a little garden, right? A little fairy garden. It's like a little fairy garden. It is kind of cute, and I still have to put something in it, but it's kind of nice, right? I'm going to dry it, and then I'm going to put uh, just a little table here, maybe, with my pen, with my Posca pen. You guys don't mind, right? You guys kind of, was that sort of fun? Just, you know, make that a little bit brighter. Yeah, kind of a little fairy garden thing here. I think so. A little bit of a, we need, every time I turn around, I try to keep lightening this path. And it keeps going darker on me. It makes it making me crazy. All right, can you see? You could see how that would, right? Well, people are really loving this one. How many people? We only have 186 people that want it. Are you kidding me, people? This is a genuine ginger cook, a classic. Yeah, okay. I'm going to dry it and then put my little table in it, and then you'll see. Okay. Oh, you're going to put a table in it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. All right. Muted. All right. Where's Sammy? Sammy, come on over. Sam's looking for you, buddy. Hello, everybody. Bear in the house. She's drawing Sam. That's what she's doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's going on. And you're back. 
Okay. Well, anyway, we love, you know, we just have to say, and I said this before, if you didn't catch some of the other broadcasts where we talked about this kind of thing, was it was an interesting, it was an eye-opener. Sometimes when you travel, they always say, you know, see the world, but when you travel, on, you know, you do any kind of cruising and travel on cruise ships, what you just, what you really see is a big segment of the population that's older and people with real health problems. And, you know, they're still moving around and they're still traveling, but you see that. And um, uh, that was an eye-opener for us, wasn't it, John? I mean, not that we hadn't seen it before, but there was some, you know, I just felt like there was um Well, yeah, it uh, makes you realize you need to do things while you can. Do not wait. Don't wait, you know what I mean? Because, I mean, I'm telling you what, there were some... Um, well, we met a lady that uh, she had brain can a brain tumor. Yeah, she had brain tumor. And she's told she had less, well, less than five months to live. Yeah. And that was five years ago. And so, you know, and she, she and her husband were just, uh, you know, they'd kind of sold everything and they were traveling and then they realized that she might make it, but they, but on the other hand, you know, they, they realize that it, 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 they, and I guess really, you know, the thing of it is, is that I suppose that's true of anybody living at any time, really, but I think that everybody thinks they always have time. I think that's the key here is that everybody thinks, well, I have time and you may have time and then you may not have time. And, you know, we just decided that we didn't want to find out. How's that? Right. Right. So now apparently the audio is not matching the video. Really? Oh, another day of disappointments. I know. I'm with you, Sam. So how many nah. people want it now? Only 190. It looks like we're about winding down. Okay. We can live with that. Yep. It only takes one to win. These are Posca pens, if anybody's wanting to know what I'm using. They're fine point and wide point pens. and um, They're acrylic paint. They're acrylic paint, but the thing about the reason we like them is you can... Um, uh, they, they, um, they, you can wipe them off. If you're doing something and you don't like what you've done, you can, you've got a window to wipe them off. And sometimes when you're doing small detail work, like something like this little table and these chairs like that, sometimes it can be kind of nice to just, um, um, you know, have something like this where you can just, um, you know, do the detail and, you know, just, and, and most people have uh, sort of a truism here. Most people do like that truism. Most people have a much better rapport with them will say um, a pen than they do with a brush first because you've been using pens your whole life and so sometimes it's easier to use a pen than a brush can be that what they say that so anyway that the Posca pens I like them that's that a lot okay so it kind of lighten up this path in here I hope you guys are having this is kind of fun right kind of like a kid's little tea set out there for the kids out in the, you know um, don't you, don't you think that's kind of cute? I think it looks great. Looks like somebody left a little dolly there. Yeah, it's a little doll out here. See? See? By the, um, little doll. Don't you think that's fair to sort of, you gotta, if you're gonna do something like that, then you've gotta get somebody, a, um, uh, you gotta complete the story. You gotta complete the story, right? Uh, and you have to shake them. There's a little ball inside, but this is fun. I want to just kind of do the little doll. I thought that was a little doll. It's kind of cute, right? Kind of a cute idea, yeah? So um, we'll just do some little brown. Well, that doll should, probably should have blonde hair. The only, and, and you're going, why blonde? Is because I, wherever there's a light, there's a dark. If there had been... Um, uh, so it's going to dictate the color of the hair. Yeah, the hair is dictated by what's around her, not because I'm fonder of blonde-haired dolls. And then, um, <laughs> then uh, you know, dark-haired dolls, you know. Okay. 
you know, she's going to have a little bit, you know, I'm just trying to make it like kind of like a little raggedy end doll, you know, kind of thing, right? Here's our little doll. I don't know if she it doesn't look like much like a doll anymore, does it? Now I did that. Kind of lost the doll thing. She's well, guess kind of what? buried in there. Yeah, she got buried. So let's just try again. I, I want you to have a doll here. It's important to me to have a doll. All right, maybe I can do it in paint. We'll just make her there. We're going to just say there's a little doll here. Probably should have dried everything, but that's okay. All right, let's finish up on the entries. As the doll gets finished, we'll be completing our drawing for this lovely secret garden. Secret garden. Kids, kids, kids play table, right? Kind of nice, right? Yeah, okay. Well, we could have spent like 20 minutes just doing this painting. There we go. Well, I know people... You know, uh, yeah, another 10-minute painting and done in a half hour. Well, I know, I know, I know, I know. All right, maybe we're going to try branch out. Here we go. I think it probably would have helped if I'd... I got to I got to dry the doll because I can't do the details on the face without her. Uh, um, all right, let me just try one more time, you guys. Go ahead and draw for it. Let me just... Um, I just got to paint it out and try and draw it and try again. I didn't quite get doll in here, and I, I really want the doll. I feel like the doll is an important part of the picture at this point. It's an point. important part of the story. It has to have the doll, right? So, all right, I'm going to put the doll. All right, uh, does she use extra fine or fine? She uses the finest that we can get on most of the detail work that she does in signing her name. We do have the thicker ones, but she doesn't use them very often. All right, we're closing on the entries. All entries are in at this point. We're going to be picking a number. Right? Right. Picking a number between 1 and 10, right? 1 and what? 1 and what? What are you picking a number between? You know, I didn't dry that enough, and it's not writing. You pick a number, I'm going to get the doll. Trust me, there'll be a doll in this one. Hey, Art, thanks for the donation. Thanks, Ginger, you're the greatest. Art, Art made a donation. He said, thanks, Ginger, you're the greatest. Oh, Art, thank you so much. Isn't that nice of Art? That was very nice. All right, here's the head. All right, we're going to do this really simple. I was going to look like a voodoo doll by the time I finished. All right, here's our dolly. Okay. Um, I think I had a black Sharpie around here, too, somewhere, too, didn't I? Do you take my black Sharpie back? I did not take your Sharpie. I'm not a Sharpie, but my black. Oh, no, you didn't take it back. No, okay. No. No. All right. I'm going to pick a number. Got to sort and redone. Alexa, pick a number between 1 and 205. Three, four. Excellent number. All right, somewhere down here we have a little doll. We do. Okay, good enough. You can kind of see it's a doll down there. I just needed to put it so that you could tell why, why the tape, you know, we just needed this little tiny table and chair set that was small. Okay? All's good, yes? And yes? Yes and yes. All right, so go ahead and pick it, because I'm almost done here. Oh, I already picked it. Oh, done. oh, who got it? Sue Gianni, I think. That is the winner of the painting. Sue, congratulations. Oh, oh I've got to go back to the microphone. Sue, congratulations. Please use the contact us on gingercooklive.gallery and send us your mailing address. Unless you don't want it, let us know and we will have another person picked. That was looking good now. That doll looks good now. Yeah, kind of cute, right? I'm going to just sign it here. It only took you three times to get that doll in there. Well, you know what? Sometimes you but just have to do stuff. If that's what it takes, it doesn't matter. No, you got to, you know, just put it's a It's gorgeous. It completes the story. Yeah, it's just this little doll, and, you know, that's the kind of play set that, you know, my grandkids would have had in their backyard, right? All right, let's sort this puppy again. Yeah, so sort it again for a tub yeah, of, where's our sample tub of towels thingy? Do you have that somewhere? The what? 
the sample tub of towels thingy? There should be so. It just should be, would be, just it's all should be. Everything would be. was right there. Oh yeah, here it is. I like here it is. There, the little sample tub of towels thingy. All right, okay. Alexa, pick me a number between one and two or five. Eighteen. Eighteen. Wow. Who, who's right. that? That is Caroline Lange. Hi, Caroline. Is the winner of the tub of towels. You know why you're going to love these? Even if you already own some, these are nice to have in the car when you're traveling. And I, I have, I have, so I have a set of these in the bathroom. Which I get out of the shower and I see where I just didn't quite to get get all the paint. It's just, it's just really amazing how um, you don't always get all the paint out of yourself, off yourself. Let's mix the order one more time, shall we, people? Okay. And kind of brighten it up in front. Yeah, wherever there's a light, there's a dark. So we're doing that. Alexa, pick a number between 1 and 205. See, you see how it kind of goes with this? See, these had the adult table and chairs, and this one has the kids. This is a tutorial we have in our academy, if anybody wants to know. I think that's kind of fun, don't you? I think it's great. Maureen McDonald. Hi, Maureen. That's great. Glad you're, you know, uh, playing with us today. Uh, incidentally, this uh, mixing white here, like this, for instance, what, what you do with something like this mixing white, this is how you, you push the background back when you want to make it all misty. So people say, what else can you do besides make a coffee smoke with a mixing white? Coffee smoke. <laughs> Coffee steam, babe. Come on. You think Call it what this, it is. You, you just, so, Maureen, you, if you're out there, awesome. Thank you. Oh, go. She's out there. Uh, both of you and Caroline, please use the contact us as Tanya Hasser. Contact us form on gingercooklive.gallery so we can mail these to you ASAP. That's right. Because we know you need them badly. We'll get Because we love them. Yeah. Okay. We love it. Yeah. So, there you go. You guys, there's our... Uh, uh, there's our painting, which is great fun. What I've got to wish they would, I've got to go buy for myself is one of those, these in dark. Um, I need these in dark um, brown. The, 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 um, what are you saying? I want the these things in dark That's brown. That's Hoska pen. Hoska pen. I want those things in dark brown. I know they make them, but they, they don't sell them in the set. Got I've got to go to Jerry's to get them, I think. All right, there we go. All right, I'm stopping. It was fun, though, huh? It was. Have you signed it? Yeah, I signed it. Where? But you can barely see it. Did I sign it? I was going to say, it? is Maybe it down I, there on the lower left? I don't remember signing. Maybe I didn't sign it. I just had a scene. Oh, I, didn't I sign it? Okay. There. Yeah. Sign hey, now. Red slash. Red slash. Done, it looks like you, you painted over your name. There you go. Now yeah. put it away. All right, we're putting it away. Hope you guys had fun with this. I hope you liked this lesson on how to do, you know, you know, a, you know, silver plate, pewter silver plate, whatever it is. You know, and again, think about think about this yeah, painting yeah, in like subjects, paint in pairs um, of two things. You know, something similar, particularly those of you who are posting. We've told you so as long as you don't make prints of our stuff, we're happy if you want to sell our lessons uh, and you know, paint them again and again and sell them. But you'll be more successful if you have a couple of things that are similar as opposed to one lone thing. There you go. Tip of the day. See you all tomorrow night at 7.30 Central Time. Guests Daniel will be Elliott Daniel will be Elliott. here. be so exciting. Wait, can't wait to see Daniel, see what he has to show us. And I know you're looking forward to it, too. So Bye. with that, Sammy. Thank you, guys. Take out of here, buddy. Bye. And Judy. Sing us a song, baby. Come on. We know you got it in you. Jump rope. Well, I'm a student, I oh, say stop. with glee, of Ginger <laughs> Cook's Academy. Take your time and do not rush. Use ruby satin silver brush. 
Don't use black and mix the green. Learn what blend and grayscale mean. Yes, I hope each day to earn coaching praises as I learn. I'll be an artist, wait and see. Ginger means the world to me.